I mean, I probably wouldn't be doing a log because I'm I'm comatose right now. Start eight five five three eight six point five. They awoke with questions adrift the remains of a splintered boat, threatened with drowning. They cling to life and resist being lost as they hear distant, familiar voices. Sounds like something's gone wrong. Mm hmm. Yep. Somewhere amidst a vast, impossible to fathom sea, one of these figures drifts, bleary eyed and confused. Brennan. Yeah, I was gonna say if you're if if it's me, hang on. Roll twenty is loading in as a player. He should be logging you in as a captain. Ah, uh, 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 back here. The ocean waves roll, uh, roll as they kind of push you a little bit closer to shore and start pulling you a bit further away from shore. In the yeah, distant trying. horizon, away from the uh, shore, you can see a figure who's badly trying to paddle a boat toward you, but is getting pulled further and further out to sea. And washing up on shore... It appears to be a aqua officer that you're familiar with, who is unconscious. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try and get myself to shore. Fitness con difficulty of one. Thank As you God. Get in shore. Um, take a threat. Sure. I'll take it. You manage to swim about to here. Uh, you can move another two hexes if you spend a momentum. But you could possibly just do another uh, fitness uh, con roll to swim further. Mm, uh, is it the same difficulty? Uh, we'll call it difficulty two. Okay, uh, I'm giving you another threat. Sure. Wow. You're just shy of getting onto shore. One For moment, moment to be covered. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh. Oh, damn it. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm gonna go over to the Qua Qua. Do I recognize her as Star Captain Koshi? You do. All right. Let's see if we can wake her up. How do you propose to do this? Well, does she... Is she, like, injured? Like, did she take on water? Uh, and... And is... Ha and, like... Am I gonna need to... That sounds like an insight medicine roll you're asking me for. Awesome! Difficulty, difficulty three, because you don't have any proper tools to do what you want to do. You're basically doing good old-fashioned eyeballing and checking pulse and stuff. 
putting your head near her mouth, presuming that she has a respiratory system. Spending that momentum. And two threat. Okay. Oh, no. She could be dead already, or she could be perfectly fine and sleeping. You don't know. You don't know enough about Quaqua physiology, and you lack the tools to make a proper assessment. Okay, in that case, Brennan's just gonna lightly shake the Star Captain. Star Captain. Koshi. As you grab hold of her shoulders... Uh-oh. I'm in The danger. world begins to get heavy around you. Breathing. Labored. You feel especially chilly. Uh, as if in an air-conditioned room that's set a few degrees colder than absolutely necessary uh, for you. So not like freezing to death, but enough that you notice. Um, oh. Temperature shift. You can hear the beeping of digital consoles somewhere. Uh, the faint voices of something. Uh, give me insight command difficulty two. Okay, I'm going to give you a threat. There we go. Get a momentum. It sounds like it's a bridge of some variety. It's, there, it's people giving orders. Uh, um, uh, not giving uh, some people giving orders to each other. Some people giving status updates. Uh, it sounds like a battle between somebody, two other ships. It's not the ship that this sounds like it is. Like, this, this sounds like a bridge that's observing a battle. The hell? Star Captain Koshi, can you hear me? Anyone? Presence, command, difficulty, too. Uh-huh. Spending that momentum. momentum. Nice. You feel the pull of Koshi's presence and you feel that you if you concentrate you can speak with her. Okay. Let's do that. How hard can it be? I feel like Brennan's been body swapped or something. Oh, that's trippy. The sand and ocean evaporate under your feet. You find yourself amongst the emptiness of space. Floating with Koshi. Is, is she conscious? Uh, doesn't seem to be. But in the distance, you see something approaching. Uh-oh. It's massive, whatever it is. Oh no, giant space snake. Oh, God. A starship is flying straight at you. Uh, gonna grab Koshi and try to... Uh, oh, God, I don't have any... It, that's, that's not how space works. That's not how momentum works. Do, do I feel like I'm in... Do I just feel like I'm in absolute zero G? Or is there, like, some give to it? 
Uh, Insight Con, difficulty one. <laughs> um, I'm not going to spend any resources on this one. Not even threat? No. Nope. It's giving resources. Think of it as giving. Be charity. Okay, how many nat ones am I going to roll <laughs> this game? Um, There's some wiggle room, yeah. You could probably direct your emotion a bit if you wanted. Okay, I'm going to grab Star Captain Koshi and try to do that. Try and wiggle your way out. So you're, you're trying to dodge the starship is my understanding? Yeah, yep. If, if only I were gerbil, I'd mm -hmm. have just the value. Exactly. Fitness con difficulty too. Oh, God. Um, fitness con difficulty two. Gonna spend a threat and two momentum. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> you madly kick and wiggle and move as best you can, and you very rapidly zoom across space as the starship continues forth and passes by silent that was a quaqua ship wasn't it Yeah. What am I missing from this page? Oh, it works if you can actually see the grid. <laughs> Might be important. We'll see. I'll, I'll reserve my judgment. And you find as you're finally able to get your bearings and kind of get a grip on what exactly you're seeing um the ship passes by you and it looks like it is observing a battle between two other ships find it what are the two other ships another one looks to be of the same uh space frame as the one that you dodged okay and the other is your long lost mother. No, I'm just kidding. Um, You've already played that card. <laughs> <laughs> material like that. <laughs> Wait. Oh, where'd that ship go? Hold on, I have to double check something. Um, no, that's not allowed, sorry. Well, too bad. <laughs> that will cost two <laughs> threats. I mean, I could spend two threat to make something happen if you really want me to. Um, it's only gridded. <laughs> no respect for the chain of command. Nope. I mean, since when did Pend respect anything? Yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah. It'll take too long to do it the way I want it. Um, what you see... Is a Federation vessel, uh, off in the distance, uh, fighting against the other ship. And it's many fighters. Can I make out the space frame? Uh, give me insight plus con difficulty of two. It's only harder because you are trying to guess a silhouette is what you're trying to do. Mm. Mm. Which, hey, you're a Starfleet officer. It's actually, it's a possible role for you to do. You're actually trained in silhouette uh, identification of ships. Um, it's the oldest way to identify ships. I'll take a momentum. and taking and taking and i generate it back press it post press it. 
That would appear to be an ambassador class starship. Oh no. Uh, around it, you can see some non standard, what you would guess to be civilian freighters that are kind of staying out of the fight between the two ships. Ambassador class. I can only think of one ambassador class that's in this region of space, and that's the um, <clears throat> the uh, Andromeda. And surely enough, in your heart of hearts, you know that the ship you see in the distance is the USS Andromeda. Ooh. Oh. Grennan turns back to Koshi and he just concentrates. Come on, Koshi. We need to talk with you. You and she start being pulled toward the starship as if by a magnetic uh, field or a tractor beam, even. Oh boy. Do you swim away from the ship or do you let it pull you in? I'm going to let it pull me in because I have so little control. And you fall or pulled across space with alarming speed, the hull of the ship encompassing your vision. And we change scenes. Uh, so we go down in momentum. Oh. No battle music. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> so soon. <laughs> You're attacked again! We won! Stop that! <laughs> there we go. So, we check in on... Uh, oh, sorry. I forgot to do something. Stardate 55386.5. The USS Peltus and USS Maxwell Plank are one day later from victory over the Gorn Klingon pirate station of the Anemne a coalition of discommodated Klingons turned pirates and Gorn pirates who sought to make their own rogue power in the region. With hundreds of wounded and dead in the assault, Captain Pan and Commander Myth must not only continue to secure the wreckage of the defeated ships and the many survivors of the battle, but also determine the final fate of this deep space station. Its strategic position makes it far too threatening to leave derelict to be claimed by any passers-by, but Tiger Squadron has no standing remit to claim new territories outside the claimed Federation space areas without approval from the Federation Council. Meanwhile, Lady Bakara is wasting no time. As the leader of the Great House Telpak, she has designs of her own for the station in the space where the fleet was in her fleet was instrumental in victory. Well, that's an overstatement. It was the Chagoans that put the work in. So, uh, these various chips are, you are all on, uh, well, actually, are you, where would your, would your ships be docked with the station, or would you just kind of be floating in, uh, standby or in, near it? I think near it, probably, just in case any other ships try and, like, buzz us or anything. And... Gonna spread out the cleanup chips a bit. These guys would all be docked because you basically had them captured and you don't want them doing anything. I assume you don't want them, unless you guys want them to be floating in space just with uh, uh, with security officers and Klingon warriors aboard. No, I think we can have those docked probably, right, Ben? Yeah, no real issue because we I probably would have ordered a joint security team between the Plank, the Peltus, and the Klingons to take control of the station. And I'll take off your little uh, combat markers because you're just kind of you're in space. That green or yellow alert either would be suitable for this scenario for what's happening at the moment. Uh, the Klingon ship, uh, the Vorcha class, is kind of floating about. It has two of its birds of prey uh, flying around, just maintaining a patrol. Uh, Cordon. Um, what do you want the fighters to do, the mercenaries? They could hang around and help patrol the area as well, or they could head back to DSE. I'd say for now, I'd, I would have probably 
asks them to remain to patrol the area until all ships can leave. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll move you over here for a second so I can manipulate these ships. Let's move you guys over here. Just so we're they not can't crazy. move that fast on their own. No. <laughs> Actually, the only uh, warp-capable ship among them is the... Well, no, they're all warp-capable. They're just super slow. The Klingon yeah, heavy can... fighter is the only one that can move at any of the at warp five. The others warp like warp two, warp three. They're not really meant to be on their own. <laughs> they're meant to be docked with somebody and then unload. When you guys were and they kind of came with, they took a ride with you guys to get here. Mm -hmm. So But yeah, you've had the it's been a day since the last battle. Uh a lot of the we were skipping over a lot of the more mundane aspects of what you'd have to do, like just sorting all the prisoners you captured on the Raiders and getting them, like fi just finding them quarters, getting security set up, getting take getting the ships settled, uh, doing some of the back and forth with the Klingon uh, ships to kind of coordinate with each other a bit, telling the fighters what you want them to do. Like there's there's been hours and hours of work that you right. didn't have to do all of, but you know it's still you know the two CO your two senior officers on the scene so uh a lot of paperwork has been uh floating across your desk for a while and you both have had though thankfully you both have had a chance to get some sleep or myth can take uh more aptly for myth a rest cycle of just yeah. <laughs> something other than work just for your own uh exactly uh productivity better way to put that uh, so of the things you've captured, you've captured, uh, a bunch of Gorn Raiders, uh, four of, uh, f we've actually it? got some at the bottom of the map as well. Oh, thank you. The fighter squadrons. Thank you. So there's three of the fighters, which <laughs> those are fighters from the outpost. So they'll just come back into the outpost. Yeah. We technically uh, what's call the start date? Oh, shit, Tom. Yeah. We what's got the start date both. by the by? Uh, it is in chat. Five, uh, five, 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 three, eight, six point five. Oh, okay. So basically, one day later. Yeah, because if we take out what's in two Raider squadrons, the defense fighters, the Klingon transport station, but it was the battle cruiser that warped out. The battle cruiser and its escort got away. Oh, it it well, some, of some of the fighters were from the station, so four of the fighters yeah. escaped. Okay. Unfortunately. But... They went out this warp gate. I mean, but overall, this is a pretty successful raid. Yep. Oh, definitely. Um, uh... I have an idea. Oh, okay. Uh, can we have um, Talen working with... Uh, oh, she should be over here. The Chagoan Squadron to, like, coordinate what things they can attempt to salvage, like, within their, uh, mandate and such. Um, Captain, if you would roll for Talen for me, uh, that sounds like a control plus con roll difficulty. Do you mean me or uh, Miff? Hmm? Do you mean me or Miff because you said Captain? Uh, Captain Grennan is who I was referring to. Uh, what do you need me to roll? Uh, for Talen, uh, a control con roll, difficulty three, for her to help uh, coordinate the uh, where is salvaging for the Chagoans. Where's her sheet? Under Commander Con, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for a lot It's of... in Con. Con, yeah. She's below uh, Prince. Do I really oh. need to give his rank thing and the thing there? That's I see. That's going to confuse me. Ensign. Oh, Heidi. Um, I can't spell Ensign. Control con diff three. Unfortunately, you don't have any momentum. Uh, yeah, I wonder whose fault that is. No, sorry. That's <laughs> the... um. Wait, so... This is to do what exactly... Working on uh, ship salvage for the Chagoans. Okay, uh, and there's no uh, no assist on this from anything. Uh, I'll let the the fighter roll to help you with it. it, it I'll roll for the your little fighter plane that she's um, aboard. 
what is it uh rolling it is rolling uh probably sensors con total of 12 great uh in that case i'm not going to spend any uh i'm not going to spend anything okay um because i have technical expertise fair which will come in which will help i don't think i have any uh focuses though yeah you need to like salvage or no no prize ships something like that yeah yeah that, that's okay uh control con uh and roll the shuttle or the fighter yep i will in a moment just you're gonna need some incense burning here although doesn't totally matter i can uh i'll re-roll that zero because it's i can re-roll any die including the ships but i'm gonna just re-roll my own yep better chance to hit there yeah all right Oh my god, and that's another... I, I forgot, that's another one from me. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, uh... You already have an alliance with this group, but uh, you can't... Even if none of you interact with the uh, ace pilot of the group, uh, you you are eligible to take a favor from him. It's because you guys allowed him to... And, his, and with your liaison officer allowed his group to salvage uh a lot of the stuff they focused on salvaging wasn't necessarily high via high value things but just uh repair scrap like just extra duranium and uh maybe some a, a few dilithium crystals not not enough for the klingons to care or for hell for you guys to care really but it's enough but for fighters any amount is good <laughs> like hey we get to get here's a few that we can that no one needs right so just it's just a tiny crystal like sure we weren't we, we would just leave that alone we would just throw it in the pile like we, we don't care we care <laughs> please let us have it <laughs> yeah yeah no i mean like repair scrap is always useful yeah it adds uh, up yeah, they, uh, that also means that they that also means they policed a lot of the small scrap that's in the battle area so there's no the this also means that any contracts in the area are back to normal because they're uh they cleaned up uh, the space of all the minor debris. All right. Actually, all the major debris. Cause I don't think you guys blew anyone up. No, I don't even think no, the Klingons didn't. even blew, blew anyone up. No, the Klingons no, didn't they do just shit. Did damage to people. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't actually kill anybody. So I'll <laughs> actually rephrase that. Uh, the fighter squadron cleaned up all the scrap in the area because there's no big scrap. Yeah, the big scrap would be like the ship, the help, the hull of a ship. <laughs> right. But yeah, apart from sleep, I think I would have probably tried to get in contact with uh, Ruffgar or Nea because this comes under what they want to do next. Uh, do you call them on the on your own, or do you pull Myth into the meeting as well? I'd pull Myth into it. Uh, let me get let me get the uh, lady situate her token situated before I get you into that room real quick. I find it where it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, I already have a token for. Her. I made this hard on myself for no reason. Sounds right. I should probably have her sheet ready too in case she needs to roll. She might not. She is an ally, but better to be safe than sorry. Whoops! Don't close it. That's the exact reason why I got it there. <laughs> totally defeat the purpose. So we'll cut to the Peltist. Um, would it be in your ready room or in your personal, uh, your captain's cabin? Does the Peltist have a ready room? It does. It's a tiny little office. It just depends if you want to be ready to walk out to the bridge or, and, or you want it to be a little more discreet and have it just in your room. Yeah, I'd, I'd assume the captain of a defiant class needs to be able to, like, pull people aside into a side room yeah. to... Uh, I'll, I'll take the the closet-sized ready room. Okay, so we go up here. So, 
Well, you step away into your ready room. Eventually, uh, Commander Myth uh, beams over or shuttles over. Your choice there, uh, Commander. Yeah. No check, just changes uh, whether you have a shuttle aboard or not. That's what it looks like. Could probably is that the ready? The... It's the one I oh, is that... found. Oh, is that the uh, Defiant one? Oh, U USS Defiant. I think. I think that's it. Oh. Oh, I know why I'm not using that. There's a reason why. Some of the graphics in the background don't make sense for what you guys are doing. I'd have to meddle with it a bit. It's character specific is the problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right then. Oh yeah, because um. Uh, but yes. that is a good idea of what the ready room looks like. It's yeah. very small. Love it. Right. It's a desk, a uh, single screen, and just enough for, enough room for like a little side desk to put your uh, personals. Maybe some wall space to a window to see outside. <laughs> yeah, just enough wall space to put up a picture. Yeah. Right. Maybe maybe you can put maybe you can put a little decoration in that upper left hand corner there where you can't really see. So, Myth, you, uh, the scene starts with you uh, actually probably pinging the door because I know you hold to protocol. Ding dong. Come in. I'm probably fucked. This is sitting in the CO chair. Yes, Captain, you wish to see me? Oops. Uh, yes, I'm about to reach out to Admiral Rufgar and Admiral. Rear Admiral Nair about how they would like us to proceed with the dismantling, destroying, repurposing of, well, all of and it'll just like point to a random wall that is signaling to the station all of what we've just done. See. Very well. I will attempt to contribute anything that I see fit to the conversation. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't well phrased, but you know. <laughs> it's as if we're not eloquent and we don't speak for a living. <laughs> Doesn't everybody speak for a living? That's patently untrue, actually. Um... Yeah. I mean, at most, I mumble and grunt for a living. Uh, that's a form of communication. Uh, yeah. Control command, difficulty two, assisted by the Peltus's comms command to uh, bring up and organize a meeting with the Emeralds. Uh, not actually decent now, this role. Jesus. In a timely manner. <laughs> uh, I'd say take a threat so I can proc bold. Um, team dynamics because I'm wanting to bring the the Admiralty team in on the decision. I'll take it more that you're uh, working with their staff to make sure you get a good time with the admirals and impress upon them that this isn't just this isn't just a social call. It's a it's not a priority one call, but it's an important call. So please hurry up and getting that meeting, please. Yeah, please don't put me on hold. Yeah, yeah, we'll get you uh, next week. Doesn't sound important. No, no, I want to talk to them today. <laughs> uh, one reroll. Peltus and else comes command. Uh, you are assured uh, that they will be coming on in a few moments. Like you get a ping as you're chatting with Myth that you, they're they're both about to come on on the call. They just have to get to an office to talk to you. I'll look over to Myth. So, what's your take on the station and, and our Klingon allies? It looks like uh, Bakara has been eyeing up the station a little bit. I think the most prudent course of action would be to scrap the station. 
Probably. That's a However, solid plan. if if uh, giving those rights over to the Klingons would improve relations, it might be worth considering. Uh, the only problem I see with that is I very much doubt the Federation would just openly hand a active space station right next to Federation space to the Klingons. Allies I mean, especially, on. especially a former pirate station in this strategic location. Precisely. So it's a kind of a weird situation. I have an idea, but I'd rather I'd like to get the input of the admirals before I even put it forward. Of course. Do we get the flashing light that they're waiting for us? Uh, you get a standby message from Nia that she seems to be dealing with something on her uh, at her desk. Yeah, you don't hear anything from Rutherford right away. Understandable, high rank. He's probably somewhere. He's probably mired in a meeting or some other thing. But because that's what happens when you get higher and higher rank, as you both have learned. So, how's the <laughs> drills coming along? Any more accidental? venting of the ship's atmosphere? I would have reported if there were, sir. Well, I'd certainly hope so. Oh, and you see a blinking light that they're both ready to come into the call. There we go, Commander. And I'll press the button. Their two faces appear on your screen. Uh, probably the big screen on the wall rather than the little one on your desk, just to make it easier for you both to see them. Uh, hello, Admirals. I'm glad I could get a moment of your time. Uh, they both nod. Uh, greetings, Captain. Commander. What's this about? We have just completed our raid and capture of the Gorn and Klingon pirate base on the edge of um, I'll, I'll name the sector because I don't think we, we named named it did we? Uh, it is not been named no in this sector just off Starfleet off Federation territory you'd probably uh we don't have the number right away, but your character rattles off a a generic designation, like it'd be like FGC dash one seven six da 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 da. Like it's a generic placeholder until Starfleet, the Federation figures out what they're going to call the sector, yeah. or if it already has a name. Basically, we have finished the raid and capture of the station. We're we're just looking to get input on what the two of you would like to do going forward, because we may have some suggestions or some issues depending on what's recommended. Yeah, kind of looks at her screen and Ruthgar just kind of relaxes. He takes a drink of presumably coffee or some other beverage. Waiting, for, letting her kind of deal with it. He's just... It's definitely one of those moments where it's a captain letting their XO deal with the meeting because they're just present to observe. I mean, it's also on the border of the theatre of space he's in control of, so it kind of involves him. Yeah. Okay, that's why he's here. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's, yeah, it's worth him being in the call. That's why he didn't say no. It's like, no, that's it's relevant to me. If you called the other, I'm going to be like, I don't know why you're getting me in on this call. I'm not, I, don't, I can't contribute. <laughs> I don't know that area. <laughs> Just to annoy them. Yeah. All right, I see your re fleet report here. And good of you to not suffer any losses, according here. Uh, what of these warp gates? I've heard of them reported by the Andromeda last time they passed through, and when they last passed through it, and also the preliminary results you had uh, in the Planck's uh, examination of them and mapping. I believe that question would be better suited for the commander to answer? Captain? 
Yes, the warp gates serve to temporarily strengthen a ship's warp field as you transit through, allowing for the transition of real space to subspace in the warp bubble to be a bit smoother. Hence the ship requiring less power to move faster and allowing a ship that normally would not be able to achieve speeds, achieve um, high warp speeds to achieve slightly higher ones without uh, straining its structural integrity field. Is there any relation to the uh, Tilbo warp gates that uh, you discovered, your uh, squadron discovered? I think so, right? Just out of character. Uh, yep, it, it was uh, it was discovered, I think it was the... I forget who was the one who got to the gate. It wasn't the plank. Uh, I, think it, I think it was the Kismet, actually, that went there. No, they saw a ring world. That's what it was. Which might have been the warp. Yeah, that yeah, Tilbo warp gate. Yeah, it was the ring world. Yes, yes. All right. Yes, it is believed that that is the primary control and relay center for both the gate network and the other preserver sites across the region. Any idea how they're using these gates? Uh, my, I would from the reports I gather that they're. Wait a minute. If they're directed. It seems like they're letting anyone who passes through them use them, rather than any sort of policing of the of the uh, lanes. Confirmed. It does not appear to be that there's any restriction on usage of the warp gates. It appears to be a somewhat dormant system. Is there any way we can uh, gain control of that network or limit its usage so we don't have pirates roaming the network anymore? Possibly. I would have to probably coordinate with the central network to see if it's possible to either shut down the warp gate network itself or code in a IFF transmission to activation. However, the current status of the gates is quite passive. They do not draw much power except for when they're activated and the distribution of power generation across the gates means that shutting them down without a overarching command would be difficult, I think. Does the pirate station have any... How much do you know about this station that you've captured? Looks back over to Penn. <laughs> uh, I believe this uh, station we have acquired is nothing more than a regular station, such as the Ericania or uh, Deep Space Nine. It looks like it's been moved via other vessels to this location through the warp gate system. All right. Uh, Ruthgar speaks up. How powerful is this station? Is this a fire base or is this just a rest stop? Uh, probably be able to assess that. Probably more likely a, a fire base, correct? Uh, you can roll Insight plus, uh, I'll go either way. Connor Engineering, difficulty two. Basically having, recalling the reports you've gotten about the station. It hasn't been fully detailed yet, but you have a, you might have a decent idea of how to answer that. Would you allow security? To answer the more narrow question, is this a fire base? Yeah. yeah. Would you allow the focus of starships? I know it's not the like a one for one, but it's technically a a stationary starship kind of. Yeah, I'll take it. It's close enough that I'm not willing to pick on you for it. Okay, I'll spend one of threat to try and generate some momentum. No, shit, I rolled insight. 
um, a road command. Um, control, ship, word. <laughs> well, Ford gets it, thankfully. Uh, 19 and 18 don't. Uh, I've got a re-roll. Okay. Just set that to insight like a normal person. <laughs> so that's four. Oh, there you go. Plus, because uh, I'm, you let me get away with this focus of starship, I have the starship expert, so whenever I succeed in a task of identifying a type of starship or understand a form of starship, I get a bonus momentum to ask a question. Yep. And um, the station. Um. It is not a fire base, you know that. It's defensible. Its primary defense is its fighters um, and its phaser banks. It isn't a a fire base is is built to have uh, be able to take on a whole fleet by itself. This really wasn't for that. So the... it'd be hard to board and cart, and you need a big enough you need a proper fleet to take a station like any other. But it's no fire base. It can't fight a fleet by on its own easily. So, with the bonus question I would get, would I be able to discern this is more of a defensive, more like, refueling station? Like, a staging station, not an actual firebase? It, it's it's a staging station, yeah. Uh, I, I'll answer that question to that effect. It is definitely a staging or rest stop station rather than a... Uh, a forward operating base type or a firebase type of... Uh, Installation. Uh, well, Admiral, it appears this is more of a staging station. It does have some defensive capabilities, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's the the greatest defense defendable station ever. Carry on, Nia, and she nods. All right then. So we are left with several Gorn cruisers, some of the, some fighters. Uh, any no Klingon ships uh, encountered in the area? Just Klingon warriors? There was a Klingon transport vessel that tried to dock towards the end of the fight. I'm guessing oh, to yes. try and claim to get to retreat or to help in some way, which was also rendered disabled. Have you spoken with the Bakara, Lady Bakara about her uh, what she intends to do with her Klingon prisoners? Uh, she, I've attempted. She's not been too forthcoming, but I have an assumption. More pressing issue with the Lady Bakara is she seems to be trying to Not lay claim to the station, but she's definitely leaning towards that type of decision. Ruthgar speaks up. That makes sense. The house Telpak's been uh, going up, up and down the uh, uh, Federation Klingon frontier, uh, hunting the those who are discommodated for the Bamoth uh, disaster, or attack more a- accurately. If she's, it makes sense for her to try to set up a base further out, especially in your region, because your bit of space in tall grass is. If one was going to run into into Federation space, that we have the least amount of uh, heavy firepower in that region, at least openly. Uh, technically, you're only a defense squadron. Uh, they don't know that you're actually there for, well. Most Klingons don't know. Most Klingons don't know that you're there as a actual uh, rapid response squadron. So the, some of the pirates and discommodated might flee more rimward where you are, rather than trying to go into the meat of the uh, Federation, since there's so many outposts and so many star bases uh, and populated worlds there. So she may be trying to use this as a uh, a listening post of sorts or a uh, ambushing ground. 
It's that said, I'm not sure how much we're. I'm keen on having a uh, uh, a great house situated right on top of uh, in such an area. We're looking at. Gorn aren't going to like it, that's for sure. Uh, they don't like that we're so close to them, but they got used to it. They get into skirmishes with the Klingons every so often. If we let them take it, it is likely that the Gorn won't blame us for it because we didn't. We are not installing ourselves there. Uh, but if she does, and the Klingon Empire approves it, then that becomes Klingon territory, and now uh, the hegemony is looking at possible encirclement which is a very dangerous thing to be in uh, interstellar uh, warfare. It, it's not enough for a complete encirclement, but one more, two more sectors later and uh, or any further expansion by ourselves or by the Empire means that we're looking... Uh, if I were the Gorn, I wouldn't be too happy with it. They probably won't attack us over it, but they would attack the Klingons over it, and then the Klingons would happily retaliate. And if it goes poorly for them, they will happily request that their allies offer them assistance. And then we get pulled into the war. That's why I have a suggestion, but I don't know how both of you will take it. Carry on, Captain, says Nia. It may your thoughts. be a good opportunity to possibly set up a joint venture with the Klingons with this station particularly. Not 10th Fleet in particular, or like Tiger Squadron, but maybe have a joint Starfleet and House Telpoc KDF based here to explore the warp gates. That way we can keep pirates down. And yes, they're going to get pissed, but they're going to get pissed for one reason or another and it'll help us strengthen maybe some of our bonds with Telpok, Martok and the Klingons in general Ruthgar speaks up well the problem with that, I like the idea so I'd rather, I mean I wouldn't mind having extra eyes and ears that close to the hegemony and an additional station to support DSE is always a good thing. But we don't have the only Starfleet assets we have in the region is Tiger Squadron. If we add any more, even with the Silk Road initiative that we've been uh, planning with the uh, with the Ganymede and the Svalin? Svalin. They are... <clears throat> that movement has been something that's... We've been able to keep that core, or we're establishing that corridor with some level of stability and discretion. But if we add... If we even have a joint or uh, combine an allied a base, we'd have to set up a command... They'd have to be put under someone's command structure, and the only ones that are situated here would be it's the 10th expeditionary we're the ones that are situated that for this region of space uh which we don't have the personnel to set up a new station and the only people who we'd be able to pull from locally would be tiger squadron and my understanding is that you're pretty uh you're under fleet captain grennan you've been you're as geared up as you can be without uh Grennan getting a promotion uh, to get his own fleet. So either he'd have to become an admiral so we could get permission to increase his fleet size or uh, we'd have to make it a Federation Klingon Defense Force. So make it a private enterprise with uh, a Federation uh, uh, Council Species um who wishes basically put it in civilian hands and have KDF be based out of there as a sort of uh, support force, which that could be done. The only downside with that is that adds it's doable. We'd have to sell Telpoc on it, and I would have to sell it to the council. Well, I'll. And for I you, it adds. The Dorians and Cations have taken an 
taken similar activities before, yes? Yes. Plus... So it's not unheard of. It's been done before. It just adds to your workload because it becomes an additional... Uh, but it becomes a facility that Tiger Squadron has to help protect uh, since there, there are Federation citizens in the area. Much as we... I mean, don't get me wrong. Klingons are not the sort who take security lightly, but they're Federation citizens and we... We have to make sure that they're being taken care of if they need our help. Yeah, it comes with the territory. He nods his head. Uh, well, luckily I'll more than likely be speaking with Lady Bakara as she's currently on one of the vessels surrounding the station. So I can try and sell her on the idea. If she's unwilling, yeah. I'm guessing the order would be to more than likely scuttle the station, correct? Yeah, we couldn't leave that. There's no way we can leave that there. It's too... it. There's too much importance for it being situated at a crossroads like that. Unless we could deny the warp gate, but even then, uh, even if we control the warp gates, that thing's sitting right in the middle of the road and could become a highway robbery situation. He shakes his head. Very strange concept, but... If Lady Bacar is more interested in the station as an asset than its location would the official position of command be to grant her the station on the condition that she move it away from the warp gate network hmm I think the issue, God's... issue there the commander would be if she still places it near federation border that's still a possible Klingon force claiming a territory Nia speaks up at this point if we could convince them to move the base to an existing claimed space uh, along the frontier or even elsewhere in the Empire, in the existing Imperial uh, borders, then that becomes their business. As long as they don't expand around... I think the biggest problem here is that we're dealing with not antagonizing the Gorn. Uh, so if we can get her to agree to move it back to the Empire, she can even move it through Federation space as a gesture our alliance and all that and she could she gets a space station out of it and it saves us the trouble of having to scuttle and deal with the uh, remains though captain uh, uh, captain panda i would actually leave that does if it comes down to that whether to scuttle it or to leave it to uh lady bakara uh i'll let that discretion be up to you um, if it comes down to that, because you might have a better read on the scene of whether or not Bakara's intentions are to merely continue the status quo of the Empire, or if she has designs for uh, conquest. Not of the Federation, she waves her hand. Not of us. She has a, she likes us far too much, and frankly, Tiger Squadron too much to go to war with the Federation on her own. That's not her... My understanding is that she's not type of, that type of uh, house she would probably put that effort toward either the Gorn or expanding the exploratory zones rimward uh, in uh, the Empire. Well, I, I, I would only leave scuttling the station as a last option. Yeah. Depending on if she's unwilling to play ball in any way, shape or form. If I can come to some sort of arrangement either way, I'll, I'll send word back to both of you as a confirmation and again if we can't come to any confirmation same I'll s send word of the station being scuttled Ruthgar speaks up and says alright uh, send the details to Nia once you're uh, any, uh, unless you need any particular uh, insight from my office. I'll leave. My, I'll make sure my adjunct is ready to receive your call. I have a few other things to deal with, but if you need any further advisory, uh, my adjunct should be able to uh, tell you anything about the Klingons that uh, Nia may not know already know. But other than that, just I think the rear ammo should be able to handle it from yeah, and yourself should be able to handle it from here. Oh, there is one other piece of important business. I believe you should be made aware about the tenth fleet in general. Carry on then. 
we were where when the tent fleet was formed. Admiral Azalon at the time gave a specific set of orders to all the captains without their knowledge. What? Mia? Yeah. She shakes her head. If, no. If you go over the standing orders, the founding captains, the only ones remaining would have been Starex, Grenin, and Athaton, have the authority to enact Article 14, Section 31. Nia kind of raises her eyebrows and you can see her eyes look over and it's, she's not looking at your screen, she's looking at Rothgar's screen in particular. I believe he raises an eyebrow at her. This was done without any of the captain's knowledge, but it's probably something you should be aware of in case something happens. Uh, Vice Admiral, I'm going to need a word with you after this call regarding this. Nia? She shakes. She she shakes. She waves her hands a little bit, like, not 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 on here. He nods. He doesn't look concerned. It's more of a mildly confused because, as far as the, these two admirals never dealt with the tenth back then. So, and Ruthgar barely has dealt with you guys until very recently, like the last year. So it's like I don't know how tenth fleet works. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> but I'm happy but to always be the bearer of bad news. Neo speaks up. Has he used this order yet? He has Negative. not. He doesn't. He's not even aware of it yet. Our Lieutenant Commander Varder and myself were able to determine that these orders are code locks to a specific triggering event, one that does not transpire. Oh, good. Very well then. Um... I can't give you further details quite yet. I need to confer with the Vice Admiral, but uh, should he enact the order and be unable to inform me that he's used it, um, please contact me and we'll sort it out from there. But for now, this is... I hate to say this. It's my least favorite thing to say, but uh, it's classified to go into more detail at this time until I can get clearance from my superiors and i've only just unlocked the file so i'm seeing a lot of put it this way there's a lot of security clearances and i need to do a biometric scan in about a few minutes so i enjoy that phrase it's classified yeah okay. Ruthgar just sips his coffee unconcerned because he doesn't know what he's gotten into yet <laughs> <laughs> but uh yes i thought you just should have been made aware before anything does become an issue I will say this, uh, Captain Pend, uh, the order is legal. So, I know it looks shady, but it is a legitimate order for a legitimate mission. I just can't go into the details quite yet. Understood. Just take your precautions. Anything else to report? Uh, not on my behalf, Commander. Uh, that would be a no. Very good. Nia out. Rothgar out. And their faces vanish. Uh, Commander Myth, I have a job for you if you're willing to participate. Sir? I'd like you to take a team of some security and some other specialists aboard the Gorn station and gain access to their self-destruct sequence. What's that? Try not to alert any Klingons on this matter, or if you do, keep it under wraps. I'd like Bakara to be cooperative in this matter, but if not, we may have to force our hand. Captain. Uh, take anyone you need from the Peltus to provide security. I assume we've already sent teams to um like uh get their databanks. 
yeah you have some you have some operational staff some engineering okay. staff basic security that sort of thing that's pro that's where most of the prisoners are being held just because you have so many mm -hmm. all right then if you have nothing else captain nope that's all i'll get right on that good luck with that i need to go speak to a klingon house leader about how to play nice i'll head out Head was just like leaned forward against the wall and just like sat softly banging his head into, into a wall. I had to have no. diplomacy with Klingons, diplomacy with Klingons, diplomacy with Klingons, and just walk out onto the bridge. And scene. Fantastic. Uh, classic. That was great. I mean, it's not wrong. Diplomacy with no. Klingons suck. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Back amongst the Sea of Stars. Ships battle bravely. But on a ship some distance away at the edge of its sensor range, two people fall into the hull of the ship. Oh dear. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> I'm yeah. like, wait. Wait, what? She dislikes you that much, she's cloned herself to kick your ass. Yeah. Oh, she should be over here. You'd be here. There'd be two people here and here. You find yourself amidst a bridge. Uh, standing behind a whoopsie there we go no 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 get back here no not you <laughs> I can't decide decide whether I'm in a pond or in space all oh, right blue on blue Baseball. yeah tick uh what happy what? spherical pond oh, that's some more like this. Yes. Yeah, it's better than nothing. Uh, and it's empty. Anyway, uh, so. Hello. Uh, you see Star Captain Koshi uh, standing before a chair. Uh, she's calling out orders to her crew. Uh, but they're not in battle. It's more of a. You hear her say, So? How goes their battle? Uh, not well, Star Captain. She, her fighters are taking heavy damage. Uh, correction, she's not launching her, uh, her fighters have been destroyed. What? Survivors? None, uh, Cap Star Captain. Should we move in? No, no. We, this is her fight. We're, we haven't been called. Just keep an eye. Steady. Star Captain, it's approaching the close range. What? They're engaging in ship to ship combat with the alien vessel. I don't understand. Why would she do that? Uh, meanwhile, you're kind of just standing behind the captain. Uh, they, it, the room hasn't noticed you, but you are standing there. It, do do I get the impression that they haven't noticed me because like none of them are facing me, or yeah, like, you're kind of like standing a little bit behind the captain. Everyone's heads are down. They're calling stuff out, but they're they're really busy keeping track of this fight. This is when it happened. You were the there. Star, Star Captain kind of looks over or shoulder. Intruder on the bridge. And she draws her pistol and aims at you. Don't move or you will die. 
And Grennan puts his hands up. Okay, okay. Marine officer, get someone in here now. And this person kind of looks over their shoulder. And, oh, <laughs> startled that there's someone right next to the star captain and starts typing away. Marines to the bridge, Marines to the bridge. Alien intruder aboard. Star captain, if you'll take a moment, you will notice the mark of rank at my hip. Uh, <laughs> presence command difficulty two. Sure. Yes, look at my hip, uh, star captain. <laughs> mm, um, them hips. Uh, watch them shake. Anyway, um. Oh God. Um. So. <laughs> <laughs> they don't lie. Uh, Jeebus. <laughs> oh Jeebus. Uh, I'm gonna spend two momentum for a fourth die because diffuse the tension automatically gets me a free die. Oh, it's a free die. I thought it was a reroll. Uh, I I got it. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's. Or is a difficulty decrease? It, I have it as a, a fat, but I'll double check to be sure. Yeah, because we both so I'm not cheating that. you out of it. Yeah, yeah. Use no, the no, tension. No. You add a bonus d20. Yep, you're right the first time. So I'll, I'll buy a, a fourth die with two momentum so I get the reroll. Roger uh, that. Di diplomacy? Yeah, yeah, I'll take diplomacy here. Ooh. Wait, uh... <laughs> I rolled the wrong thing there. 19 uh, and 17 wouldn't have made it. Uh, 17 would have made it. I don't know. It's a presence know, command roll. It's called yeah. editing your sheet. Give me five minutes. Also, that third one if would have been a command would have probably been a crit. Uh, yes. Yes, it would Oh, there you go. Yep. Yeah. And I oh. will re and I will re-roll the one zero. The 19, yep. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so free momentum. That was a gamble that paid off. Yeah. Look at the captain encouraging gambling here. Uh, she looks at her. She looks down at your hip, and she's quiet as she's examining it. And you see Marines, uh, swords drawn as they rush into the into the bridge from the back doors. Stay your hand, Marines. Guard the doors. We have a gentlemen of court in our presence. They kind of look at her like, what? And she aims her pistol at them. Are you questioning me? No, ma'am. And they sheathe their swords. And Grennan is continuing to keep his hands behind his head just to maintain uh, uh, to maintain the air of uh, what's the word? Submission? Yeah, like you know, I've you know, I've you take lead here. I I'm not gonna. All I want to do is talk. You may be at ease, gentlemen. Your name, sir. Fleet Captain Harmon Grennan. You don't. You don't know me, do do you, Koshi? This is. Excuse me, today. sir. I am a star captain of the Royal Navy. I would yeah. uh, I would ask you to address me as such. Yes, we are not right. on such familiar terms, sir. Not yet, we aren't. Uh, of what navy are you with? I don't. Re we no alien would be serving in the prince's navy. And Grennan looks around from behind Koshi at the battle on the view screen. That one. Uh Some of the crew starts looking, uh, they look over their shoulders now. Eyes on your stations, she yells out, and everyone kind of, whoop, and they sit a little straighter, and they pay attention to what they're doing. And what navy would that be, gentlemen? Starfleet, United Federation of Planets. Why exactly is your Starfleet at war with the Royal Navy? Why is it supporting insurrectionists and rioters? That's something that I wish I know. Uh, I wish I knew. The USS Andromeda went missing a while ago. The after-action report of her final missions never made it to us. So 
Star Captain report. They're the carrier's down. It's adrift in space. The hell did you do? What the hell did you do, Captain? Star Captain. Gentlemen, sir, good sir. And and he 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 didn't say that at Koji. He said that at like the view screen. Oh no no he uh, I I got that and so yeah. did she. She just turns to you and she seems to steal herself for a second that she turns to address you. Good sir, I'm gonna ask you to please remain here. I have vengeance to wage. Wait, Star Captain, you're sure you do not recognize me? Officers, prepare the ship for battle. Warp to the alien ship. We will not let our sisters die out here. But the prince's orders. I and the star captain here. I and the attending officer of his navy and one of our ships is about to die out here. That will not happen before my very eyes. And good sir, what are you talking about? This is the first time we've met. With all due respect, sir. And you see the ship rush. You can see on some of the displays they're closing in at warp to engage the Andromeda. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't understand. Am I, am I in the past? Is this a dream? What the hell is going on? Insight plus command? Question mark? Or medicine? Difficulty two. Uh, yeah, gonna gonna command that um <laughs> i don't have any i don't have any focuses that would help i'm spending a momentum for a third die insight command rolling the zero black as you think about it you're seeing this battle from the wrong direct, from the opposite direction, but this was the engagement of the Andromeda. This was the no, incite. I, this was the inciting battle. Right. I get past. that. Yeah. No, I I understood that. Like I put that together pretty pretty handily. Okay. What I'm tr what I'm trying to understand here is how I'm here. Is this a? Is this oh, a you're in her memory. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're psychically linked with one of her memories. Yeah, that's what I this is what happened, minus your involvement. Yeah. Well, I have to let the memory play out. There's nothing I can do to change what happened. Instead, I, I need to try to... I either need to let the memory play out, or I, I need to somehow convince Captain Koshi to move on from this memory. But at the same time, I actually need to know what happened to the Andromeda, so I might as well... I might as well watch. Uh, give me Insight Command difficulty 2 as you watch the battle and try to appreciate what's happened from her end. And getting a feel of what's happening with these, uh, with the officers aboard, like right. the general mood of the room. Spending a momentum again, rerolling that comp. Oh, I did it again. Um. As you watch the the as they begin to engage the Andromeda and uh, they drop right on top of them and they just unload and the Andromeda having already been in a fight and then getting attacked anew uh, begins its flight away as the uh, civilian ships start scattering and running for their lives and the Andromeda is running for its own life. She orders some of her fighters to stay behind to attend to the uh, wounded ship. And then she begins chasing the Andromeda, calling for reinforcements. The general mood you get as well. Um, Koshi knows someone on that ship, but she's trying to maintain that captain's uh, calm about it. But you can, you, you know, even personally, you know, when you're disturbed and you're trying to keep your command. Um, 
but you also get from how her officers are reacting that she must have violated some directive, like a standing order that she's not supposed to violate, and she's viol she's violated it twice. Um, so she's this is this has turned into a personal mission. Ooh. You didn't see her kind of walk over to the medical officer's uh, counter, uh, and she starts typing on the computer there. The medical officer just kind of looks up uncomfortably and continues directing the efforts on the wounded ship, as well as the fighters that are being recovered. A single name comes up. Uh, and it's of the star captain of that ship. And they're marked as, ki as killed in action. Star captain just kind of takes a breath, steps back, and sits in her chair. Officers, I swear an, an oath of vengeance on that alien vessel. They will die by my pistol, and you are going to help me. Yes, Star Captain, they shout out. A little more and you get that's a very solemn thing for the Qua Qua. This is a, and it's, again, it's a directive violation, but it's one of those unwritten rules among officers. Because you've interacted with the Qua Qua a couple times. It's one of yeah. those things where it's like, if one of us fall, officially we're not supposed to go out of our way and make it personal, but the nobility doesn't like that. But the star officers look after each other. Right. Marines, you can guard outside the door. I don't think the gentleman's going to do anything. Uh, yes, ma'am. Walk out of the room. She looks over her shoulder at you. Fleet captain, was it, sir? Yeah. Is that one of your ships, sir? It is. Sir, do you condone the actions of your ship, sir? I don't condone wanton destruction of life. I don't know the full story. She smirks. What I know, I know through records and now through your memories, Star Captain. Uh, this is a place that he looks around and he says, I don't think I'm supposed to be. And you vanish from the bridge. Yeah. The memory fades. And you can almost sense a feeling of not bloodlust, not raging vengeance, but a quiet determination. Hmm someone on a personal mission and you find yourself again at the beach with Koshi missing and the captain is just going to take a nice walk on the beach new scene hi everyone <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, car sounds. <laughs> car sounds. Yep. Yeah, I like, that, I like the fact that GM is trying to get to the end of this scene. Nope, I have three backgrounds to delete, seven tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get to the one that I need so I can continue the sheet. Shit! <laughs> But yeah, Doctor, once you once you get settled in uh at your computer, we'll cut we'll cut over to you. I, I have enough I have enough uh material to cover until you get shot at. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh so as I recall, uh Myth was gonna go aboard the outpost. Sick, I'll be right back. Yeah. Taking a team on the outpost. 
like, who are you taking with you? Um, I'll take Tachibon over from the Peltest and uh, an engineering team from the Plank. Yeah, Tachibon it, security. It was one of those I'd rather have some security personnel with that in case the Klingons decide to find out and cause a fuss. Oops, I don't need to mark it with engineering team. I could just give it a little marker, color marker, to indicate that it's a engineering team. Um, so, uh, are you bringing any other additional gear with your quote unquote away team? Um, I don't think so, actually. I think like we find the the structs uh system if assuming there is one on the station and then make our preparation there so i don't think we need any additional gear for that uh, i have some threat lying around on my table let's make this a eh. Eh, let's do this yeah, because you can scan it. Uh, reason plus engineering archon, difficulty three, assisted by the planks, uh, sensor plus NG archon, to determine where the best place to enact or place is to enact a self destruct sequence are on the station. All right, uh, sensors on plank drops difficulty by one. Okay, so diff two. Could I have assisted with a direct? Considering I'm, I'm, I'm ordering her to do this? I'll take it, yeah. Then I'll if, take the direct. As soon as you hit one, I'll give you a crit. Cool. Um, I... Yeah, I mean, I'm automatically going to hit one because it's a reason roll. Then, that's, then you're automatically at three, then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just rolling two here, I think. Uh, reason engineering... Uh... Focus in Xenotech. Uh, yep. Uh, you can, I'll point out mechanically, you can bring down the difficulty further with your engineering team because you have it allotted. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, sure. We'll so diff zero. <laughs> oh, diff one, sorry. All right, so that's. We're uh, mainly checking for complications. Six hits. Six successes, and then uh, assist from. Sensors con on the flank. Seven. Hey, that's a full pool. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, so you determined there are uh, two primary places on the outpost to enact a uh, self destruct sequence. One is uh, station operations. Uh, you can basically, with the appropriate command codes, you can enact, you can tell the ship. You can tell the station to destroy, much similar to how Starfleet stations work. It doesn't have the COXO protocol. It's It has a more su a supremacy system where it's the command. Whoever has the command code for it gets the trigger it. Uh, more Klingon Gornish. Uh, uh, actually, more Klingon Gorn. They'd usually spread the, the destruction out to the entire bridge. Like, everybody has to agree sort of thing, rather than just one person pulling the trigger. Whereas Klingons is just the first officer, so has a Klingon protocol. So you can do it from the bridge. I choose the to destroy this ship. Boom. Yeah. Uh, the other place is in the engineering bay, uh, and that's just good old-fashioned start a runaway uh, core containment breach, and the thing will obliterate itself. Although a proper scuttling, you'll you, you direct the blast so it destroys as much as possible. Well, yeah, I think that was the order to not do it this second, but to set something up to where I can just give the order and it goes kaboom. Yeah, so I think I think in terms of like having this be a little bit more on the down low, I think engineering is better for that. Rather than just parading into ops and punching in command codes. So, um, I don't know why I was about to say free information. Um, what do you intend to do? Uh, 
uh, beam over to the engineering bay, and then, uh, you know, appraise the situation. Are you trying to be uh, covert about it, or are you just beaming over normally? How much traffic is going between the the station and ships right now? Oh, that is... I mean, a... to be fair, what's unusual about a scientific officer, an engineering team, and a security personnel to guard them be beaming into an engineer? Exactly. It's like, if... If there's no transit between the two at all right now, it might be slightly odd, but if there's any, I think this should be fine. Just kind of hiding in plain sight. I'll spend some like... threat to make that some, uh, to have any difficulty there. Oh, sorry. Diff two, sorry. So, base would be two, brought down to one. Uh, right. Reason con, assisted by ship sensors con, to determine uh, the level of traffic. All right. Um... Rolling two. All right, and then sensors come. All right, we have three float. Uh, most of the traffic is going to the transporter pads, and then people move around from there, or they dock and then uh, in a shuttle or with the ships, and then they move around. But because you're you're kind of in somewhat yellow alert esque space you know you're all, all three of the main cruisers like all three of you are kind of hanging none of you are docked at the station for various reasons so it's like ah so we're all basically either been beaming to their transporter room and then going where we need to go or we're uh sending a shuttle over if we need to take break something big yeah then, or then take we'll go, something we'll go pad to pad pad to pad then and then walk down to engineering and to answer your question, that would be the unusual thing. If someone just beamed straight into engineering, yeah. it would have alarmed them. It would have drawn attention to what you were doing. Mm. Like, uh, is there something wrong? Uh, why'd yeah. you, why'd you go? Why'd you come straight? Why'd you come through the window? We have a door. Could we spend two of them to create the advantage of no Klingons are currently in the engineering bay? Yeah, I could. It is reasonable to assume that's uh, with two momentum. That it's just Starfleet engineers down there. And a couple of security guys. Klingons are busy with something else on the ship or dealing with prisoners. Klingons are busy guarding all the people. Yeah. Just make your job a little easier. Yeah. Uh, you have a beaming role in your future. Uh, it is a... So lucky. Plus engineering. Do Base you... difficulty is two. Do you have a question? You're assuming you're doing it from the pad. Assuming yep. it, the beaming's happening in the room. So it brings the difficulty by one. It's going to a pad, so that means sensor plus engineering diff one brought down to diff zero because of these sensors. Uh, do you have I don't a, think you have a reach on your sensors. Do you have a question from the previous one? Because we still got one float. That's true. Uh, do I? Um, or we can spend boy, do one I? more for an extra advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll spend the float and one more for another advantage. Do you have any idea on that, or...? Maybe with the data we've acquired from their, from their banks, it'll make the process of what you're about to do a little easier. Like, um... The... We're not just like completely jury rigging this. It's like this is an existing thing that the station has kind of at, at its would have had at its disposal. Yeah, and we're just taking control and making it more in our favor. Uh, for two moments, we can have that advantage of basically having some advanced knowledge or or familiarity with the destruction procedure, so it makes it easier to mess with. Yeah. Game is over. And then that would be a screw task roll. Uh, assisted by the ship sensors engineering, not sensors com. 
right? Two float. I cannot think of anything to use that float on, honestly, relating to a transporter role. <laughs> um, could we spend it so we don't have to do any more? If you want to beam back out again, yeah. Yeah, it'll be easy. Uh, the assumption will be that the, uh, the if you go back to that pad, you could easily beam straight back from it without much issue because they're already, they're familiar with the process now. Sure. It's better than nothing. Yeah. <laughs> better than just going poof. So you're gonna the group of you are gonna head down walk down to engineering. Mm-hmm. And then uh once we get there, there's no Klingons there. Uh All right, Myth, you can give me insight command difficulty opposed as you're walking down there to notice something about the Klingons. And how they're acting. All right. Sorry, insight what now? Insight command. Actually, I'll make a diff two. They're not making a great effort to hide this. It's just you noticing all it right. as you're going down there. Uh, I mean, I have all this momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll spend, <gasps> I'll spend three and four. Uh, I don't have a focus here or a reroll. Did you say you were spending three? All right, we get one back. Ooh. You notice that um, as you're walking down there, uh, they seem to be there's a large amount of Klingon and Gorn uh, prisoners who are being moved. They're being moved around, which that in and of itself isn't weird, but it you do some quick calculations in your head just idly, um, and. They're not walking them to where the brigs would be, or even a temporary brig like a cargo bay. They seem to be moving them toward uh, the shuttle bay area. All right. Uh, and they are all, and you notice that all of them are shackled and being marched along. All the Klingons seem to have a look on their face of grim determination. The Gorn look confused. And you, with the successful roll, you get the idea that they're being marched off to an execution. A mass execution. Right. Uh, I'll... That's why the Klingons are so busy. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh... Comms to Pend. Uh, pend here? Captain, you might want to communicate with uh, Lady Bakara. It appears that the KDF forces here are currently moving to execute prisoners. God damn, Klingons. Okay, I'll um, I'll get in contact with Bakara now. Penned out. Me, Mammoth, what do you do? Uh, well, once we get to engineering, okay. all right, team, we know the basics of what we're here to do. Let's get things set up and then wait for an order to either stand down or fully arm. All right, to set up the procedure. So it's ready when you, on a moment's notice. Difficulty is going to be... Actually, how difficult are how engineering heavy are these things anyway? Let me check. I don't think they're terribly high. I was gonna set the dip based on their engineering score, but it's I don't think they're terribly high on space stations. They're okay. It depends on the space station. It's true. Well, we'll say this because of what kind of station it is. I'll give it a bit of a boost. So we'll call it the base difficulty is three so brought down by one because of your advantage uh... spend 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 and do you wish to use <laughs> your engineering guys to bring it down further 
Yeah, sure. One. Uh, I'll spend to bring it up to two. Because why not? <laughs> I can't take the threat with me into the next game. That's not how that works. I mean, you could spend yeah. some more to make it even more difficult. I could, but I have a different role to deal with. <clears throat> <laughs> There's other things he wants to spend threat on. <clears throat> That's Give comforting. Second, be right back. All right. All right. Uh, control engineering. Uh, give you one threat for the yep. reroll. Uh, focus in Xen attack. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Um, I, mean, what... I could also see Starfleet protocols potentially working, but I thought Xen attack was probably closer. Xen yeah, attack was a better call. Yeah. Tachiban assist from security. He can. Yep. At some point. He can uh, assist well. with security. The primary can be engineering. Security being like, well, here's the best points to blow up the station. Oh yeah, that's the uh, other half. Why you're doing it this way? You're also making sure it's it's uh, comprehensive. Wow. Uh, would wow. you allow tactical systems? No. I mean, I still hit it. Did you? Yeah, because you control. The comp three. Oh, you upped your. Uh, you used your uh, augmented yeah. ability. Hey, I'm getting a whole bunch of like. I rolled two sixteens and a fifteen. <laughs> At least in the twenties. Exactly. All right. Uh, but yeah, how many times I've forgotten to set my complication range back down to one after doing that and just rolled like the next three rolls at comp three. Uh, but yeah, no, you're able to, you and your team are able to, because uh, none of the Starfleet engineers who are already in there don't really stop you. They're, they're from your ship. So they're like, oh, okay, well. They're continuing their work. They don't question anything you're doing. And. You set up the system in such that you can, you on order can uh, have the ship uh, either uh, destroy uh, itself. It wouldn't be imminent because it takes time for uh, reactors to go. But in um, combat round terms, the the fastest you can get it to blow is end of round. End of round automatically set the core to uh, hit an effect. It obliterates itself and anything uh, that's docked with it. Then it will probably it would also cause an explosion that would damage any ships that are within close range of it, which yeah. is basically everybody, right? Everybody but the uh, birds of prey and the fighter uh, team. Mm -hmm. uh, you can set it later for an additional round, and that's how you set the timer. The timer is it has a minimum timer that lets crew, like the person who set it, run to an escape pod. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or battle a border to keep them from running away, that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we'll just have that, you know, potentially ready to go. And yeah, I think the procedure here would be. Uh... To have Tachiban stay with the engineering team here while I return to the plank. I'm just trying to think of what the like the Starfleet protocol would be in here. Uh Insight Command difficulty one. I can answer that. Alright. And Starfleet Protocol. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I had it. Uh protocol leads it to away team commander's uh discretion. Um if you believe that the away team w without you can accomplish what you set them to do, then yeah, you can totally leave. Like even if you beam them to a planet and you're like, no, I think the the geologists and botanists can pick flowers for the next two hours. I'll just head back to the ship. I don't need to be here. <laughs> I'll come back to check on you later. But I can. I'll just leave. Yeah. You guys are good. Or you're like, I better stick around. Or you just want to because you're in command of the away team. You can stick around if you want until someone tells you to leave. So. 
Lieutenant so that's the protocol. It's, le it's left to your discretion. Lieutenant Touchbone, I'll be returning to the Maxwell Plank now that everything is set here. You are to await confirmation or stand down orders from Captain Pend. Touchbone nods at the order. And then I'll head back, head back out. And that will cost you nothing because you just take a walk and get onto the pad. No beam, no beam roll required because the Have Klingons to pay that are there. Have momentum to walk. <laughs> Uh, penned. Uh, new scene, because we're getting to your half of this problem. Yay. You've been informed of what, uh, what Myth's uh, found out, and you're kind of doing this while Myth's walking down from there. So you, we're kind of triggering from when the call got to you, and you're working from there. So the the, uh, the alert, the you haven't gotten the confirmation that the thing has been set up yet. That hasn't happened yet. Because I assume you didn't stand around there for like an hour waiting for them to call you. Unless no. you did. No. I thought I'd ask. <laughs> like, I shouldn't assume that. You could choose to do something. You could choose to wait. <laughs> uh, Helm, locate and contact Bakara of House Teleport, please. Reason plus con difficult or command, either way. A uh, difficulty of one, assisted by technically computers plus con or command, because you're just straight up looking up where is she? Because <laughs> because they are telling you where their their soldiers are moving around, just so they don't see so you guys are coordinating with each other. Uh, I think I'll get I'll get print to do it. So activating that dude. Where are you? There you are. Would you allow the focus of investigator? He's investigating where the person I want him to find is. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Welcome back, Doctor. I will. I'm going to pick on you in the next scene, just so you know. Uh, don't. Sh Can I? Have uh, Prick spend for mission directive? I get, uh, it's against I'd have to say... I mean... I'd have to say no, because this isn't... She, oh, well, no. It's the, against, uh, talking with her is part of the mission. Never mind. Also, yep, not allowing to people to be executed is generally against the mission. But it's not expected in your, mission, in your current mission orders. It's an unexpected complication. But in this case, you are supposed to be negotiating with her, so it falls under that directive that you're supposed to be going. You're you were expecting in this mission, and so what he that you're going to be interacting with her. Okay. So finding out where she is is important. <laughs> uh, the computer's come. Yeah, because uh, yeah. Uh, bu -bu -bu. So yep, yeah, she is aboard her ship. She's on the uh, her flagship. Oh, yeah, I got asked to be put through to Lady Picara immediately. Uh, from your ready room or the bridge? I'll do it from ready room. Okay. Cut to the piltist. Step into your office. So after not much time, you're able to get Bakara of House Telpok to uh, appear on your uh, the screen in your office. <clears throat> Captain Pend. Lady Bakara, how can I help you? I'm going to be transporting over to your ship momentarily to discuss what we're going to be doing moving forward. Until then, would you be so kind as to Order your people to stop trying to execute the prisoners. They're enemies of the Empire who have been discommendated and labeled as traitors. I'm taking care of them as per my orders from the High Council. That very well may be the case, but can we at least hold off for a couple of... until we've discussed what's happening here? These people are responsible and were party to... 
the deaths of millions and the near destruction of a great noble house and have shamed the empire with their treason. You're looking at a diplomatic, you're looking at a social uh, extended task because it's going to take some talking, even if you beam over, to get her to change her mind. She's very upset. Let's, in the most Klingon way, she's very upset with these people and has every, as far as she knows, every, as far as she feels, every right to kill them all, including the Gorn. That's fair, but look, I'm coming over. I'll bring some some special reserve. Look, you can do this publicly when you get home. You don't need to do this this second when we have things to discuss. And that's part of the exchange. Is getting her to slow down as well. She wants to get rid of them immediately and be done with it. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, what she does with her prisoners while we're not here is not my concern. But generally, if a Federation officer's nearby, you're not supposed to allow executions. Yeah. Um. So you can begin... Uh, well, actually, treat this as the first pass, if you will, of you attacking the... If this isn't a social conflict, it's more of a... With enough time, you probably should be able to turn her around on it, but it's going to take some doing. Uh, so this first pass is you just getting her to let you kind of come over and chat about it some more. Um, so the task is I like a presence roll. No this isn't even Plus. me asking her to not execute people. It's just can you execute them when we're not here, please? <laughs> can it can it not be on my conscious? Could could you do it where? Could you make the sausage where I can't see it? C- c- um, can you just make it sure I don't have to fill in the paperwork? <laughs> Oh, what's your thing? Yeah, it's pretty high. Da, da, da. Uh, spend, spend, spend. That's just me setting up the roll. Uh, da, 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 da. So you're going to hit Presence Command, Difficulty 3, Magnitude 3, Resistance 3, Work 12. The Resistance is coming from the fact that she's acting on High Council orders, so she feels no particular great... Uh, need to slow down at all, but it's like, well, I mean, you're a Starfleet officer, you might be able to talk her around to give you five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a go. Well, I think for this first roll, I'll use my palm leaf to resistance to res- reduce the difficulty to two for this roll. Okay. cut back out to here because you're going to be trying to board her ship in a second. Well, nothing that reckless. Well, chat. Board is probably a it's too strong a word there. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to that stage just yet. <laughs> Attack! What? What? <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll spend a single threat for a reroll. Will you? Mm. We will allow survival or oh, poker face. I'm thinking more survival because I'm literally talking about the survival of the prisoners. I, I'll have to say no. Your ability to survive in the outback doesn't uh, improve your chances of saving prisoners. How about poker face? I'm basically making this into. A glorified game of cards. I'm trying to get the upper hand here to make the situation better for me. Try, try, oh, yeah, and also try not to push the Federation thing too hard. It's like, oh, I just, I don't care what you do. I mean, you don't, but it's like, no, no, I have to really let her know that so she doesn't get all Cleon about it. So, gain a moment. No, really. Execute them later. I don't care. Just. Just share a wine with me. That's all. I just, you know. Why? I don't know. It's a Tellerite thing. Shut up. <laughs> so that's one momentum, and I'm rolling six dice, I believe. Yeah, yeah. 
Ooh, I'll spend the bonus to reroll three. That's two work. I'm thinking, would it be better to try and spend for piercing, vicious, or just to spend for the work? Can't spend for vicious, but you can do pierce. You can spend for extra damage, sorry, is, what, is more what I meant. I think I'm best off spending for the damage. So I'll spend... How much are you spending? Well, I'd have to spend four to get the hit. Well, I mean, uh, if you spend one on piercing, you get piercing two. Yeah, that would put you up to four work. And then you spend an additional one to get up yeah. to five work. If that's the case, I'll just spend two to get... You, know, you have to spend less momentum that way. <laughs> Uh, so you're able to, uh, after some promises of drinks and chatting about your victory and whatnot, and the business of what's going on, um, you're able to, your first magnitude does get across that there, you're, you bought some time for yourself in the fact, by the fact that it takes you time to walk to your transporter room, beam over to hers. She greets you at her be at her transport room. She walks you to one of her or to her uh, cabin and chats with you there. So there's a bit of time where she's delaying a little bit because she intends. To, you also learn that she intends to be there at the execution because she's going to read off what they're being executed for. With some level of pride, in fact, she wants to be there. She takes pleasure in doing executions like this, and you get the feeling as well that this is not the first time she's done this. But this is one of many times she's done this in the last few months. I get it. You want to make sure it's more for crew morale, it's for the Empire, it's orders. But clearly this would make more of an impact if you took them home and did it publicly. You're missing an opportunity here. At this rate, you're just executing people in the middle of nowhere and getting nothing out of it. But that's the pleasure of it, she says, pouring, uh, uh, she'll pour, or whatever you serve, because if she served, she's not sure if she wants to serve you blood wine. Nah, I've, I've brought my stuff. Yeah. But if you take them home, you also get the credit of publicly ending the enemies of the Empire. Well, that's why they are being publicly, uh, executed. It's going to be broadcast across the Empire. We're going to be recording it. And uh, we have some of the sensors on the station. They're going to be catching it as they fly out and keep track of their life signs as they die, as they die off. Um, if they were, if there was a governor among them or a house leader, I'd be more inclined to make a big show of it on Kronos uh, or even on Bamoth to help the, them get some uh, needed vengeance. But these are minor warriors. The best among them was, used to be a uh, Solch of the and then the translator takes a second, a lieutenant in the Empire. And they deserve their fate, but they don't deserve the pomp, uh, the pomp and circumstance of a Imperial execution. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you can execute them. I just don't want the paperwork. So, and I am also here to discuss what we're going to be doing with the station, which I've seen actions from you and your people you've got some interest in it haven't you we're debating setting this up as a border as a listening post for further traders they may try to use this network to slip into federation space or out into the unexplored regions to evade uh, my uh, inquisitors well unfortunately Starfleet don't really, doesn't really want the base to remain here. There are options of way we could proceed forward with the base here or you taking the base elsewhere but I would much rather do that without such a difficult decision looming over us. Wouldn't you agree? So what do you propose then? 
what the rest of the Federation people here would not appreciate a mass execution for morale. If you can delay that for now and take them home, I do have the permission to let you either take the station and move it closer to Klingon territory, or maybe set up a joint venture between yourself or any of your allies and a council member race as a exp exploration force for these warp gates. Are you saying that the price of this cooperation is on the lives of my prisoners? I mean... The let's... delay of their execution? Oh no, that's just what's being discussed about the station. I'm asking nicely about the prisoners because I just don't want the paperwork. And we've been pleasant with each other in the past. I could invite you as my guest, and you could be just simply there as a private citizen. Uh, I've been to enough executions. I've kind of lost the taste for it. You've been to executions? I thought the Federation banned the capital punishment. Several years, uh, several decades ago. Well, not the... Well, Starfleet and the Federation has the seedier organizations that I used to be a part of had different plans of what they did. She peers at you, not entirely understanding. Uh, I have to roll for her. She needs to... She might not get what you're getting at. Hold on. I mean, she realizes I snuck across Kronos into a base full of Klingons and got out without being noticed. She's got to have put something together. That just sounds like Starfleet, a good Starfleet security officer. Or... Uh, really, because intelligence guys do that. Even regular also, section thirty-one is we we try to not talk about it because we don't want to say it exists. Hmm. So you're of a rather elite cadre of your own Inquisition, then. Uh, she takes a drink of her. Uh, she takes a drink, seemingly pleased with her estimation of you. More like used to be and they're constantly trying to kill me because I left but yes I'm not unfamiliar with the darker sides of the universe that's why I'd like this to be as pleasant for everyone as possible we are allies and there's no reason why we can't have a little give and take Uh, you can attempt another roll. Uh, I'm going to be spending some to make this a little harder for you. Yes, do it. Three. Do it. Four. Go big. Get rid of some of that work. Like Pend is worried about Starfleet security when Section 31 is actively out to kill him. <laughs> Uh, because you are offering her a material gain in the form of the station, uh, the resistance has been dropped down to two. Does the booze help as well? Okay. No, she has plenty of. She's a house leader. She has plenty of booze. She doesn't have. She's my a stuff. great house leader. On top of that, she people give her free booze sometimes just to get her curry her favor. So I'm going to spend one threat and four momentum. That's, yeah, that's right, isn't it? One threat, four momentum for a total of five. For full dice. So one and two and wait, one, two and three. Wouldn't it be six for a full dice pool? One, two and three. I think it is. Like, I got confused then for a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's two and four. Okay. Oh, two and four, okay. okay. Yeah, like I said, sorry, I got confused then for a second just with the amount. Boop. 
And I assume the poker face with the fact that I'm still trying to win this conversation would still account. Yeah, you're you're still trying to not show too much concern or any sense of urgency. It's like, no, no, it's just, it's just casual. I, everything's fine, fine. I'm not planning anything, no. Not no, at all. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. I'll re-roll that comp. I think that. Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven raw by the look of it. Two resists, that makes five. Five work. So you got your work track back, you get another breakthrough. Base difficulty reduces down to one. And as you're able to talk her around to the idea that, you know, she could always put this off and. You know, she does get a station out of it. You know, if she kind of just stalls for a little longer, she can always execute them later. Uh, and as you have a pleasant drink, talking over the lives of hundreds, we cut over to the Kismet. New scene. Hi, Dr. Efrix. Hey. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you are in for a treat. Um, um I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. I'm uh, in danger. <laughs> oh, that's not it. Ah, oh, there we go. The bright side. The sexo likes me. We're buds. Oh, because you got the favor from them earlier. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really cool, you guys. Clearly. <laughs> so, uh, you have the good uh, officer on the line, uh, mm -hmm. who is. Rather irate that her captain has been uh, rendered unconscious through mysterious means. Why does she immediately go to play Buzz? I mean, yeah, it's our fault, but... <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, how does she know it's our fault? <laughs> it's always our fault. That's the answer. She called out your captain by name in her uh, haze. What sort of alien right. attack are you doing? Maybe she just likes him. Oh. <laughs> Not an attack per se, but perhaps a ill-conceived attempt to communicate. Captain is also currently unconscious. What do you mean? I decided how much I want to disclose. <laughs> As you're speaking, you notice there's uh, Vameth walks over to Varder and you can hear an alert beep as it seems he's in medical distress. You then see sympathetically that Grinnan is uh, having increased uh, medical... is not in medical distress, but he's getting there. Oh, she probably is too. Good. I don't believe that is the most pressing issue right now. Uh, how, I would assume I know how to address her. How do I address her? Star Commander. Star Commander.
Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Mm-hmm. Gridden dies. Reroll new character. Um, oh, she's Mira. Okay, did nobody watch that TV show? It was good. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, watched it. Your cartoon. It was yeah, good. It, I liked it, was, it. Yeah, it was a Saturday morning cartoon in all the best ways. Mira was cool. Um, I believe our our number one priority should be our captains. Star Commander and their health. If you could keep me updated to how our Captain Koshi is doing uh, medically, uh, I will do my best to ease this. Princess Medicine difficulty two, or okay. you may spend the favor you have with this person. Doctor's orders. Oh, wait, I don't have to. It's already about it. It's already medicine. Never mind. <laughs> already medicine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think what I can spend. I think we have momentum. I'm just trying to look at my stuff because I don't. I mean, I could spend it. Just kind of figure out. Counseling. Our focus? I'll take it at complication because it's somewhat abbreviated counseling. Um, or emer maybe emergency medicine or xenobiology. I'm just trying to, I'm not sure. So far, I'm still on counseling at complication. Counseling, you're trying that's to sell, kind of what you're I thought. To start. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I just wanted yeah. to double check. Yeah, um, maybe the then... fact that you're counseling her through a probably a psionic event she's not used to dealing with. Well, that's why I'm allowing it as complication. Usually, counseling is something that takes a, yeah. a significant amount of time. Yeah, and she's trying to do this quickly no... while she, so she can get back to dealing with the medical emergency at her back. <laughs> A novel trauma specialist wouldn't. This no. isn't exactly. This that. is convincing okay, someone yeah, was, to let you get to work. Just, yeah, I was just trying. I was just checking. Never know if you don't ask. It's true. Yep. And one for cautious. How dare you? I'll take. I'll take a comp. Increased comp. Um. I want to fish. In before fishing episode. Yeah. Fish, it, it didn't do I think the good. question that is was does, the <laughs> role I was meant to have. Uh, jokingly, does the difficulty go down because she's in Met Bay? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not for this. The patient is in a Med Bay as well. Here, have a nice cooling tea. <laughs> Enjoy this sedative. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just gas. <me. laughs> <laughs> Just stand in this bay real quick. What's the force field for? No reason, no reason. Nothing. <laughs> Just take deep breaths. <laughs> um. But no. Um. Very well, Dr. Efrix. I will... What's that? Um... One second, Doctor. I'm keeping an eye and ear out, but I'm going to get scans on Murder and Grinning while I wait. I can multitask. Uh, sorry, reason medicine difficulty one, because you're in mid-bay. Assess mm -hmm. device sensor plus medicine mm -hmm. as you're giving a scan of your patients. Mm -hmm. uh, which patient are you scanning? No biology. I'm going to start with Murder because I he seems to be the point and if you make this roll you can spend a momentum to scan at the same time. yeah the first time we're actually doing triage right um i keep ruling it wrong oh uh, does it go down again 
Did it? Oh, because Did of your higher res. Yep, it would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I feel like triage is, is a talent that's kind of missing something. Uh, we'll, we'll get into the weeds about that later. Yeah. Psychology. Say again, Doctor. Sorry. Psychology. Technology? Xenobiology. Oh. Yeah, you were cutting out at the end. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Uh, let's spin for cautious. Just cause. I mean, whether or not I can help Koshi. Um... I'll take all that momentum. <laughs> well, I think it was a spend one to just get Grenins as well. Yeah. If you want. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, it would seem that uh, it, Varder first. Uh, Varder seems to be in a... Uh, what would be the equivalent of a Vulcan in a mind melt who has lost, uh, who has become untethered. Basically, they're uh, okay. lost in the memory of the other person. But it also seems that he is, um, he's caught up in not just one mind, but two minds. And his, his mm. psyche is being, is being torn apart. So, and mm. if mm. that continues... Uh, his psyche will just rep itself asunder. His body, his body will function, but his higher functions will be gone because the sentient being that's there will be shattered. Okay. And so Grenin is just being affected. Uh, yeah, Grenin's just being affected because he has his tether. Yeah. yeah but he it barters his tether, and if the tether goes, uh, it's going to take Grenin mm -hmm. with him, <laughs> and possibly the Star Captain. To, to quote. Uh... Pacific Rim, he's chasing the rabbit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but in two directions, which is worse. Um, okay. Um, we had, had something. It might have been just for that episode. Carter. I need to I've talked about it before. I need to start keeping patient files on each of the characters. <laughs> I can just like pull up, hey, what when did we work on this? was before that. Sorry. No, it was after the telling metal. Hang on. <laughs> Seeing it. Shoot. See, this music just makes me feel like someone's creeping around somewhere. That's accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and brains that they shouldn't be in. Um, okay, so I know I've worked on on Barter before. Um, nothing like this. Um, is there a... Like, with, with knowledge, Vulcans, is there a way to... Can, is there a way to, like, guide them back from the outside? Um. To guide them, you'd need to join the link. You'd need um, to join the link. Okay. 
and I am not. Yeah. Uh, I would uh, not be helpful. Um, <laughs> we don't. We don't like Grenin that much. Vermeth could try, but mm. outside of standard medical practice. Yeah. Like it is a possibility. What's the? I mean, because it, it's risky to pull somebody out too. So. What is the standard procedure for treating? Like, Oop, what's the role to figure yeah. that out? <laughs> Not standard procedure, no. but. Um, I am going to say that would be a reason plus medicine. If brought down to one because you're in Med Bay when you look this up, computers plus medicine as you go to. Read up on what the procedure is. You could do insight as well, but you wouldn't get the ship assist. So I don't, and it'd be diff too. So I'm assuming you don't want to do that. Yeah. Unless your insight's really good. I mean, it's not bad. Um, the only thing I have uh, would insight be quicker than. By a few seconds, imagine... yeah. It'd be, it'd be a little quicker. But not that much. No, not. not I imagine this. I imagine this is a time-sensitive thing. So, yeah, it's a quick like you walk over to a wall and quickly type it in with a practiced ease. It's the thing that doctors yeah. sometimes have to do. Sometimes you yeah. have to do research while the person's dying. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um. We'll, uh... Xenobiology. Uh, I'll take it. Um, yeah, let's spend one for cautious. Oh, gosh. How dare you. I'm going to die here. Can you do it quietly, please? Don't let, don't let you die. I mean, I will. So will I. Fortunately, neither of you are exactly in charge of that. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, the question you weren't asking was, is there a procedure to bring people out of a meld safely? Mm -hmm. Um. Yes, it's well as safe as one can. There is a drug regimen that Vulcans can do to try to break the uh, link between uh, Varder and Grenin, and then that would mm -hmm. force hit the Varder psyche to kind of retreat back along yeah. the same line. The only the complicating factor is making sure that it is gradual enough that it isn't just a, a hard sever. Like the yeah, easy yeah. way to do it is literally to just knock his hands away and forcibly sedate his brain into a coma. It's like, that will break it no matter what, because he can't, if your brain's shut off, there's nothing he can yeah. do, but that'll cause shock and then he'll just die anyway. So yeah. you're trying to very carefully sedate him at a rate that his brain will lose mm -hmm. strength and let go of whatever it's attached to. In theory, he should wake up. His body, his brain will do will automatically, much as automatic as one would breathe, um, mm. will should retract. If it doesn't, mm. you can start giving um, stimulants to kind of wake him up a bit, so he could, so he doesn't drown, as it were. Yeah, but you can control Wait, it. It's a tricky procedure, but it's doable. The problem with that then does that leave Koshi and um, Brennan without their tether? Uh, according to the medical, f uh, that's a momentum question. Oh, look at that. We have a uh, spare. Yeah. It's important. Yes. Yeah. Um, it would be, in theory, in most cases, the patient, the, uh, the people being linked, the person being linked, or persons, if some mind meld professional is, uh, practitioner is just 
irresponsible and links to more than one person at a time because that's that's how you get split mind syndrome yeah. um you in theory if he withdraws he's the inciting factor so their brain should go back to baseline in theory but that the mm -hmm. problem is you don't know the what process the star captain and uh koshi and grenon are interlinked if mm -hmm. they may just stay uh, they won't fracture, but they may stay unconscious. They may stay yeah. linked to each other without someone guiding them to wakefulness. And but they won't shatter with, him because he's the reason. The problem they, with they Barter too is, is Barter's psychicness is not exactly like a Vulcan's. Um, yeah. Shoot. Uh, so the if you wanted to do that, just to give you the the difficulty range, because that's what you just learned. Mm -hmm. uh, you're looking at... There's two complicating... F there's two factors that are making it more difficult, and there's a complicating factor that you're not aware of. Um, it'd be a control medicine difficulty for comp two. Mm -hmm. Baseline, because it's just because it, you're dealing with rather a rather complicated situation that you don't have all the information on. Because this this method that Koshi uses is an uh, is yeah. as of yet an undocumented yeah. procedure that you're not you don't know how it works so that's kind of making things harder yeah. for you. And the, the Kalka crystals, uh, actually, um, the Kalka crystal directorship is why the complication isn't being increased again because of all the directors mm -hmm. in Starfleet. Him having Kalka crystals is a non-factor to you. You know more yeah. than anyone else about the topic. That isn't hurting you at all. <laughs> actually, that would bring that's the difficulty down to. Uh, three as well because that's part of why up the difficulty Ooh. before so if three comp two the only person who maybe knows more but not biologically is pinned um <laughs> to do or the midnight watch <laughs> mm. yes uh well they're not here right now and i don't have a link to them anymore so um, I, oh gosh, we don't, we've not heard anything about the woohoo being, right, the quack quack being, uh, like, for this. This is, yeah, this, they're not known to be psychics. There might be some obscure thing that they do. That's part of why they were doing this. Mm -hmm. to figure out how, what, how exactly was the link. And yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And, and that's when it tumbled into this uh, unintended, complicated situation. We we haven't heard anything about them like being outlawed or anything. I just don't no. want to get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> do you know that your captain has a unregistered psychic? <laughs> Last thing I want. Um. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, raise the star commander there yes doctor uh, I have some good news oh uh, it seems the uh, star captain is uh, wakeful she seems uh, a little disoriented but she's awake she says that your captain is lost, if that means anything to you. It does. All right. I can take care of that. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to put Star Captain Koshi in danger in doing so. Anything else I can do for you, Doctor? Not currently. We will, I'm sure we will all need to have a conversation after all of this is done. Very good, Doctor. Uh, apologies for getting irate with you. My been with this uh, with Co uh, Star Captain Koshi for a long time. I didn't. Stand. Hmm. Lurira out. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, I will do that. Um. Let's see. Novel trauma specialist. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. 
uh, to bring down the comp. Okay, so comp's down to one. Can't type. All right, and it's death three. Let's yep. spend. Emergency medicine? Mm, I'm looking for more like surgery or neuro. I have surgery. Oh, have I'll surgery. take surgery. I'll okay. take surgery. Is this qualified? It's, it's not it's exactly a, surgery. It's but a it's, regimen, it's, yeah. So, yeah. But it is like emergency procedure more than... I, I get it. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. I will spend... So that I can get uh, uh, momentum, so I can get four dice. Uh, which will also proc my cautious. Let's go. It was control, wasn't it? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so that... Let me see if any of those are not... 12, 2, 11, 5. So it's still a 15. <laughs> not a 16, but it's a 15. Um... So lots of momentum gained. Uh, so yeah, you are able to very slowly uh, force a... Uh, I guess maybe two 16s or not. Hmm. Didn't I roll? Sorry, I'm not reading. <laughs> no. Yes, you were able to bring uh, Varder simply into a unconscious state. Okay. So his brain is his brain waves are stabilized. Okay. He's exhausted, okay. but yeah, with a bit of rest, yeah. he should be fine. How's Grinnan doing? Uh, that's a good question. Change C. Oh no. <laughs> trying captain i swear yeah yeah i know you are he brought it on you're himself doing, you're, 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 you're uh, doing great hey grinnan you notice uh that the boat off on the horizon mm -hmm. uh, vanishes hmm how that was Hmm. <sighs> like how how long has Grennan been walking at, uh this beach? Oh, you just asked me that question. Medicine difficulty. Fitness medicine difficulty too. Mm. I don't like that. Um <clears throat> uh I am going to spend one threat and two momentum. Because you just asked me to do my worst role. <laughs> it's almost everybody's worst role. <laughs> Aside from doctors. I did it. Uh, it's it been a, a bit of time. Funny. Maybe an hour, maybe two. It's hard to keep track here. Because the, 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 yeah. the light is not of a sun, but perpetual. The passage of time is immaterial. Because this isn't a physical place. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, so you could say it's it's been a long road getting from there to here. You died. Mm. I want to turn that into a sea shanty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and I I don't see anything, do I? Uh, insight plus security difficulty too. Awesome. I'm gonna take a momentum. Because it's not a terrible roll of mine. And I get the momentum back. Uh-oh. Oops, that's not right. Sorry. <laughs> Squid.
<clears throat> Oops, that's right. Calm down, Pent. I've spent two momentum. All of the momentum. Such a momentum hug. Ah, uh, he's always like this. You, looking out to the ocean, you see three uh, statues floating in the water, uh, floating atop the water as you peer out. You am feel able... like you know these statues. Yeah, I was going to say, am I able to make out, uh, are, are they, they're statues of people, presumably? Yeah, they look vaguely humanoid, and there seems to be some writing at the, at their feet. But I can't make out from this distance, and I probably can't make out any facial yeah, you'd have to get a lot closer. Yeah, okay. Swim, swim, swim. Give me fitness con. Difficulty two. Awesome. Spending a momentum. Yeah, they did not like statues at a quick glance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I will take two threats. Okay. Uh, which one are you trying to swim to? Uh, the one that is technically... Are, are they all the same distance to me, or...? Roughly, yeah. Okay, then I'll start with this one on the left. You swim out through the water, and the statue seems to be, like, like floating atop the water, or just balanced over it, even though the waves are... As the waves uh, move back and forth, actually, it seems to be... The waves actually have stilled quite a bit. Um, it doesn't feel so rough anymore. Um, so this thing, uh, as the waves are settling, the statue kind of tips and rolls with the water. Like, it's attached to the top of it somehow. But once okay. it settles, you're able to kind of look at the words. And the words read... Now you die. <sighs> oh. Put it in. Sometimes the risks are needed. Okay. Uh, does this, um... Am I able to make out any features of this statue now? Uh, actually, uh, yeah. Insect Command difficulty 2. Okay, now I'm going to spend a momentum and I'll probably generate some. Um, archaeology focus? At, oh! At complication. Hi, spider friend. Did you, <laughs> I, you... I, I, was like, I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take the increased complication. I just enjoyed that focus scared the shit out of him. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, were you not expecting me to have that? Okay, spider friend, no. you can't really be there. Could you go back up, please? <laughs> spider friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, noise. Uh, two momentum. Be right back. I have to get this this guy to move without hurting it. E. Yeah, so good, 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 good spoiler. I, I really hope it was just me who got a different idea of what those statues were. Why would you say, uh, oh. Yeah, just quick uh, glance them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Standardizing all of our uh, tokens borders now, or mo a bunch of our token borders from ones that are just like square images. What for the support stuff? Yeah. Oh, I found the a Riemann picture for the um, Ensign Janarex. So I sorted nice. out. I couldn't decide on Sarir, because, like, she's already kind of got a border, and cropping it in will be difficult, so I think I'm just going to leave that one square. 
Yeah, I can I can throw that instant into the token creator if you'd like. Yeah, go for it. I I just found that a basic one just so we could have a a face. But if people yeah. want to spruce in it, up. I can never, I can never figure out how to do faces for like human NPCs is the thing. Like I can always just find like. Okay, here's the only. There aren't that many of them, but with humans, it's like, well, there's so many of them. How am I supposed to find one? Yeah, sometimes having too much of a choice is just as bad as having no choice. Exactly. This is why uh, our good uh, Anson Tenet still doesn't have a picture. Uh, oh man, my my uh the crew of the sh the game I've been game mastering they just adopted an ensign from uh from one of the modules I ran, mm -hmm. and there is an ensign in this module who um. They, they, I don't think the person writing it thought it through when they came up with this name. Uh, Ensign uh, Carly Kenson. I'm back. So Ensign Kenson. Whew. And just every time, uh -huh. every time someone says her name, I was like, Ensign Kenson? Ensign Kenson. Ensign Kenson? So, uh, oh, you were trying to recognize a person. The difficulty was two. You gained momentum. All right. What remark? Oh. What remarkable craftsmanship! Now it's your worst nightmare. Let's move that statue out of the way because you now recognize who it is. Oh, that's what? even worse now, considering what they look like, and he's just replaced it with a pen. Yeah. What does this mean? Uh, insight medicine difficulty of two. Of course. Phew. Uh, gonna... S mm, insight medicine... To um, linguistics focus. Oh, it doesn't uh, matter. It's, it's it's medicine. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, taking a momentum. Hit it. Uh, you get the sense that this is a the psionic impression of a person that is in your memory and mm. you can kind of reach out to them through the ocean not very well because you're not trained and you don't have the, the uh, a high enough aspirating to make a control a very clear message <clears throat> but in essence <clears throat> distance wise you're effectively um you might the ocean connects everything relative to each other so everything is as close as you will it to be really because everything's connected uh, that sounds a little confusing that's because it is yep that's that's <sighs> about right Hanging up there. Thank you. Not a bug. It's a feature. It's not a bug. It's... Shh, 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 shh. Shh. Um. Thinking what I'm gonna do with this. What What would I want to let Pend know? Oh look, you're trapped in Your the real ocean. Real feelings for him. <laughs> yeah, you're trapped in the ocean again. God damn it, Grenin. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Um, doing my best. Okay. Um, Are you? I mean, also taking into consideration, Pend was teaching you about how to, 
have mental discipline, so he could help you. Yeah. <sighs> Pend, you'd be so much better at this than I am. You always keep your mind focused. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to you. Uh, fitness, medicine, difficulty too. Mm, yep, yeah, I'm not gonna spend anything for this. As you start I'm... feeling a, a sense of despair creeping up on you. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna suck. <laughs> Uh. Four stress. Oh. oh, my head. You find yourself having a harder time staying afloat in the ocean, but you, with a bit of effort, you're able to keep afloat. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> know where you are. I don't know how you can help me. Gonna... <clears throat> I just came back and all I heard was four stress. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's... <clears throat> Let's try... Uh, let's try the next statue. Uh, fitness medicine... Uh, fitness con... Fitness con... Uh, difficulty something. <laughs> what did I call it before? I forgot already. Sorry, two. I'm, I'm it, 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 two? It's okay, been two. two. Uh, okay. Sorry, keep uh, close on my a, friend. Uh, take a threat. Sure. Oh, generated a momentum. What's this one say? Your mama? No. Um. Now oh, here comes Vada. Oh. Oh, these are their values. Cool. I like that. Wait, I have a value. Uh, Wait. Can I can I make out who the statue is of? Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> you know your own value. No, because that's that's one that I've changed recently, so I forgot all about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you should know who this one is, let's be honest here, mate. Shh, I'm trying to generate momentum. If I concentrate real hard, I can generate momentum. Yeah, and in, oh, and, and, in, and in character, these words don't mean anything. Or do they? Mm -hmm. Insect Command difficulty one. Okay, still spending a momentum for a third die. Go. Oh well, you're not down here, so I won't be mad about it. Rerolling that comp. Man, I, I will say, I have been rolling an inordinate number of ones tonight. It's called, it's because you hacked the Roll20 server? Reporting. Uh, Makes sense. That's three. Yeah, three limit. Myth. Myth might know how to work me out of here. Okay, let's uh, focus here, Grennan. He puts his hand to the statue. Uh, Myth? Myth, uh, can, can you hear me? Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, duh. And I have the threat to make it harder. And I can complicate your life. Uh, 
Presence Command, difficulty five, complication two. As you are finding yourself reaching out to the psyche of a mind very alien to you, and it feels like you're you're uh, call it you're stretching yourself out, light years upon light years, years upon uh, hours upon hours. Okay, you're gonna be like that then. I am, yeah. Uh, okay, I don't have any focuses, unfortunately. Uh... I'm just seeing what I got. Um... Game Master, take three threat. Sure. Rerolling that comp. Whoo, that is five hits. So that's also free momentum you spend. Yeah, it is. Which you didn't say. Well, I can always uh I can always burn my determination and generate that three back. Oh, did I? <laughs> did I in so your uh, in your uh, AI Nexus uh, subroutine cluster, uh, you are aware of another presence that isn't one of the AI. It is human. There he is. And you know, the miss gone off ship for the effort, talking with a bunch of AIs, and suddenly. Brennan appears and he looks over and you know presumably the captain feels the focus of a bunch of uh, a bunch of AIs on you oh this is oh this is oh oh uh myth Captain Grennan Uh, this How have is, you uh... attained access to this place? Long story long. Um, uh, Varner has me in the ocean right now, and uh, somehow, uh, somehow, I, I was able to brush up against these psychic connections. I, I think to, to to numerous people on the ship. And I figured you'd be able to, ooh, ooh, ow, 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 uh, take a threat game. Are you in distress, master. Captain? Uh, Person actively saying, ow. Are you in distress? <laughs> As Grennan, you find yourself being examined by six unique consciousnesses that are infinitely older than you Oh, are. no! Oh no. Um so, oh no. Uh hang on. Uh, ahead in the stars. Determination spend. I'll take it, sure. I just, just need I just... Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ow. Stop making me roll fitness medicine, damn it. Are you uploaded? Oh, I wonder. No, I don't see any implants. Do you have an implant? No, there's no implants. Is there any Bioware inside your mind? No, they don't have Bioware. Are you sure? Yes. They seem to have some psychic training. That doesn't mean anything here. Maybe they psychically cross the digital threshold. You're just hearing... Anyways! <laughs> I'm quite intrigued by... Myth is just doing this, too. I want you yeah. to know. Currently, I'm I'm stuck in the ocean, and I have no idea how to get out. I see. So you've become trapped in the psionic realm, even though you yourself are not actively psionic, correct? Right. Uh, Star Captain Unless Koshi has changed. Was, Star Captain Koshi was somehow able to form some kind of a psychic, empathic link with me, and 
when Varder tried to... <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might be more help. Yeah. And uh, you were able to gain access to my mental landscape. That is a security breach to be aware of. Yeah. Um, trust me, if there were another way about it, I... I uh... I would have taken it. But there is, there is, there is. Is there? I mean, yeah. I mean, sort of. Technically? Well, not technically. Well, wouldn't it break him? I mean, he has the same baseline. That's true. Practically. A landline. Point being, uh, I need help to get out of this. Um, I know. Um... Well, since I'm doing all of this through Varder, do you think you could reach out to, um... <laughs> yeah, do you think you could reach out to Deep Space Arcania and have the situation, as I've just related it to you, uh, get this message through to Irene Adler? Myth, I... Would they... Is the Grinnin uh, biome known for lying? Yes, he is lying. But maybe he doesn't know he's lying. Maybe he's ignorant. That's true. That's possible. I always assume ignorance before deception in organics. This is true. Yeah, it's been a while. Hanlon's razor. It's also Grinna. You are floating alone. You are adrift. You are lost. You are disconnected. I well, honestly... you are connected now into the digital stream. Yes, but you know. Honestly, I don't know whether or not this is better. It depends, is what is, and you get variations of amused, like that's a running gag among them. Yeah. It depends. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very well. Anyhow. I, I can put through a sub message to Arcania. Currently, Captain Penn and I are still on deployment near a. Gorn, or previous Gorn installation. Oh. I I see. you. Uh, how did the... I assume the mission went well? We did not take significant casualties. Great. Anyway, ah, oh, this is... This is this is a lot for me. I... I shouldn't stay here much longer. Why is that? Why is that? Yeah, why is that? I mean, it's perfectly safe here. We're not gonna harm you. Do we have to harm you? Are you a danger? No, he's not a danger. What's I, he gonna do? I'm connected through a hodgepodge of psychic links, mental, psionic, electronic, the AI, what of, have you. The absence of Commander Varder in the psionic data stream suggests that you became separated while in the ocean. I am fairly certain you are here alone, Captain. Right. I, I don't know. I, I, this isn't my forte. That's why I'm. That's why I'm gonna see if you can maybe reach out to someone whose forte it is. Very well. And with kind of pauses for a moment. <laughs> a mo. Uh, Grinnon, give me fitness medicine difficulty oh, okay. two as you start losing track of time because if you thought it was hard to take track time in the ocean, it takes it's even harder here as you're surrounded by constant voices commenting on every aspect of the universe, current and past. In the also, most it's happening at very, very quickly. Generally, I'm yeah. just going. I'm just going to roll it. Nope. No. Uh, could 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 I? Uh, if if I take an injury off of this, could I take the complication that I just get disconnected? God no. That'd be a good oh. thing for you. Oh. Awesome. Momentum for the advantage. One stress. Disconnected. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't stay. You have my message, Myth, right? Myth doesn't uh, respond as Myth seems occupied at the moment. Because uh, they're interacting with the real world at the moment. Oh, yeah, I got I, I should go. New scene. Unfortunately, you've lost track of time. 
Uh-oh. That's hilarious. Oh. Also, so uh, just just for clarity, what I was doing there was I was going and getting uh my midnight watch badge and contacting Adler. Oh, that's right, because you can just do that. Yeah. Cool. It's all you won't be in there for very long, thankfully, for your own sanity's sake, if nothing else. <laughs> uh Barter, you wake up. Aww. Oh. Welcome back. Did you actually leave or just kind of like <laughs> nap for a minute here? <laughs> oh, you were also lost in the ocean. Uh, uh. Oh, hi. This is a first. It seems that you are being caught in a split mind syndrome scenario where you're connected to two minds and having your psyche torn between the two. Uh, we were able to pull you out of it, but... The two minds being the captains and the star captains, I assume? Indeed. If so. Right. So she seems to be conscious, but we're still having difficulty reaching Captain Grinnan. <clears throat> yeah, well, if he's not psychic, yeah, that would make sense. Do you want me to go back and try to fetch him? Hmm. Or do you think they'll start everything all over again? <laughs> An alarm beeps from the bio bed on, for Grennan. Mm-hmm. As his uh, his uh, brain waves have gone flat. That's not good. Brain's somewhere else now. <laughs> this is because he's in... He's now in the no. Matrix. And I get... Well, I guess they're flat. I guess there is no readings, is there? Uh, according to the bio bed, yeah, he has no brain function. I mean, that's the reading didn't change. Get get some cortical stimulators. Wow! Ah. Wow! Uh. Is it safe to use? And because I, mean, I already did a bunch of research. Is it safe to use cortical stim- stimulators on people that are experiencing like <clears throat> psy- psychic events like this? Uh, it. Well, this person ha- is uh, on a glance looks brain dead, so they're not doing mm-hmm. much of anything at the moment. <laughs> but if someone were in the middle of a psychic event, uh, yeah, it, it's. It's like doing uh, using uh, part paddles to uh, to somebody whose heart's working fine. You can actually cause a flat line to occur or co- or some mm-hmm. other event, uh, uh, heart event. In a like a more general sense, can you still sense him, Barter? Uh, sure, let's try. <laughs> I know you're tired. I'm sorry. Uh, insight, medicine, or command, difficulty two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not going to be medicine. I'm telling you, we're going to have a medical seminar. It's going to be a whole session. <laughs> Y'all are going to learn some stuff. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to invest in some of those glasses that you can wear that make you look like you're awake, and I'm going to sleep through the entire thing. <laughs> mm. Can we do this on the holodeck and you just make a little hollow a blind where your eyes are? <laughs> yes, like, actually, the entire ship ho- has holographic projectors. So I don't need to be in the holodeck for that. It's you just have to program the hologram to give you uh, an illusion of having your eyes open. Uh, I have favors with a couple of engineers. <laughs> okay. So do I. <laughs> uh, Stionics is a focus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do we have? Ah, uh, threat. Have some. By some sure. one. Stonks. <laughs> uh, 
as you feel the ocean around you, you don't dive in. You just you're just trying to get a feel if anyone's out there. He's there, but he's there the same way Myth is there. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that, that probably gets a growing look of confusion as it's like, oh yeah, there there he is. Then wait, wait, wait. He also feels oh. distant at the same time. Like you sense him, but then again, everyone is relatively close to each other in the ocean. So he is physically. Uh, for a scale of distant, further than how Irene would feel right now. About the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that that being the actual reaction other than mine, because that makes a lot of sense to me personally. Yeah. Um probably that actual noise coming from Parker. Confusion for a moment. Certain uh, from Efrix because she's never heard you make that sound. Yeah, so you know how I've described myth having a presence. right so he feels like that which is not normal I mean you know very human didn't just get replaced by an android while I was sleeping um I hope he did I hope he didn't get replaced by an android because that would be you were watching uh <laughs> There would, the, there would be some explanations that needed to happen for sure. But the other part is he's distant. It's not just one thing. The myth has that presence, but if she were right beside me, she would feel as if she were right beside me. Grenon mm -hmm. <laughs> in relative distance feels like he's back on deep space Arcania. Captain, Co uh, Captain Koshi suggested that Captain Grennan is lost. They're further away, and that's why we're getting these readings. Uh, that, but, that's a long, long, long Could he away. connect? He doesn't... He's not psionic, but... No. It's possible he could have found somebody else to tether himself to? Uh, sort of giant evil snake thing. Um, so there are definitely entities in the ocean. That 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 is the thing. Um, I evil. I don't know if alternate me is just running around in there. I don't know how he exists. I just know he does exist. Mm. Which is but you definitely thing. sense him, and he doesn't feel brain dead, correct? Yep, not brain dead. Well, oh, rude. <laughs> the doc doctor wow. raises an eyebrow, but does nothing. She's a civilian. <laughs> she doesn't care. Well, she's also Vulcan, but she also doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> she's a civilian Vulcan. Definitely doesn't care. The eyebrow is is the Vulcan way of laughing. Um... <laughs> the, the eyebrow just continually moves up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> Set with the characteristic murder <laughs> funny joke tone. Fun. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's... I mean, I don't know if alive is the right turn of phrase because you know, myths air quote, alive. Uh, that That is... You know what I'm trying to say there. She, he feels like her, which is weird. He does not have her brain or a brain like hers. Huh. 
Varter, uh, Varter's readings are stabilized now. Yep. Okay. The the implications of uh. No, I wouldn't feel his presence from here if he was actually just uploaded to somewhere else. Fully. Probably. Concern is if he's lost enough and we try to send you in after him. You may also get lost. Yeah, but I know what I'm doing. Kind of a, <laughs> a look at you. Like, <laughs> he doesn't yeah. say it, but like it's in there. It's in the look. I know um, what I'm doing more than he does. I'm still not saying a lot, bud. That's yeah, not a stellar recommendation. I know more than nothing about this. Exactly. Man. In relative terms, makes me the expert here. Um, Isn't that a fun thought? What is protocol? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I'm sorry, what's the um, protocol for losing my captain <laughs> in a psionic plane? Are you surprised how often these kinds of things come up? Yeah, is there is there a precedent for something similar? Like I concerned about the ethics of sending Varger in after him, but yet oh. I, I don't know how else to help the captain. I think the answer is going to be no. It's a bad idea. Uh, we have two sets of. I ideas. have. I mean, I gotta. I gotta check. That's the way. Yeah, I have. The way ethics uh, works. Um, my ideas come in a switch form, and they are either terrible or amazing. There, there is no in between. Or both. Um, just someone uh, like when the coin there. lands on its edge. It's both. That's just, yeah, it's just someone uh, hitting the switch repeatedly. Emergency medicine. Would not. I'll take it in this case. Okay. Considering what you're asking me. Uh, let's see. Well, that could be better, but it's not the worst. Um, it's a possible. Uh, as chief medical officer, you are the mm -hmm. arbiter of any medical procedures done aboard ship. Uh, in Starfleet, you are permitted to act in unconventional ways to preserve uh, life because you Starfleet over, say, a civilian doctor runs into things that mm -hmm. are undocumented in a lot of cases, and you kind of have to just wing it. Uh, if someone... Now, normally medical personnel are ones who would take certain risks like this. Non-medical personnel mm -hmm. can act, um, but they have to go into it with informed consent, and they have to. They can only do it with your approval if it's a medical procedure. Mm -hmm. No, no one can do a, a major medical thing like that without consulting with you first. It's yes. not a major violation, but it's an F, it's a it's a uh, it's a pr protocol and procedure violation. It'd be a mm -hmm. reprimand on their record for not checking in with the doctor before doing like surgery or a mind yeah. meld. Uh, fixing of a mental illness, like no, 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 don't, don't do that unsupervised. Let either ask me first. So that's the protocol. You can't allow, it, but you can nix it okay. as well because there is a risk factor here that you may mm -hmm. deem too high. And the only time you get yelled at is if one of your patients actually dies because of it, because then you're yeah. the one who put them in there. If they come out fine, then everything's okay. But if they don't, you're not okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Is there a way to do risk? Similar idea. <laughs> like, is there a way to do risk assessment based on like other instances? Farter um, going into these kind of situations, it's not good. Um, his track record's not great. <laughs> my track record of coming back is, however, stellar. 
mind melds during a medical crisis are always risky. Um, best best case scenario, uh, the minor bad case scenario is that they simply just go into shock and they wake out of it. So basically non-lethal injury, they go out inside the meld and then they just wake up mm-hmm. on the bio bed. It is also possible they can suffer a uh, systematic uh, psychic uh, breakdown and yeah. they die. Which we it's have experienced bad. before, so we have experienced that. I we can treat that. Yeah. Can I just glow like a psionic beacon and try to guide him home and become what is it? Uh, a lighthouse. There we go. Yo. That's probably possible. Probably not an amazing idea, but it's an idea. Oh, ow. Because <laughs> you don't exactly get to choose who's in the lighthouse. Uh, like I'll, I'll add on my desk. <laughs> I'll add that most doctor, depending on the doctor you ask in Starfleet Medical, uh, mm-hmm. some would ban any psychic practice um, yeah. aboard their ship unless it's cultural. Oh, well, it's too late. It's too late for that. Yeah, yeah. Um. Others would use it all the time. Like, no, no, do it for everything. So Starfleet Medical split uh, has a variety of opinions on whether mm-hmm. psychic uh, usage is beneficial to medical practice. But there's no. Hard yes, hard no. It's more of a, it depends on the situation and what you as a doctor think is the mm-hmm. safest way to deal with the problem. Because in theory, some some of the more non-psychic medical guys would just say, let him wake up on his own. He'll come around eventually, or he won't, and we'll just monitor him. It's like, eh, that's a little passive, but some doctors mm-hmm. are, that cons- are that conservative when it comes to psychic powers. Because psychic powers can be very unpredictable. It's very hard to control them. Even yes. practice practitioners run into problems like that. We are aware. <laughs> as evidence so i am going to blame last week's lapse in judgment on my first day of work um <laughs> uh i on my skills of persuasion and very and a very persuasive captain and and security chief um um they said it was a good, good idea, idea. uh <clears throat> Technically, he's not connected to... Well, he is still connected to Koshi, but not directly the way he was before. You could possibly go in there and pull him back out, but it would be your decision. There are, of course, risks. And with him that far away, I'm not even sure how you would find him. Uh, Time is relative? No, no, time, distance. Both, actually, technically, and that... They're both the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it did. Yeah. I know a lot of these terms. I just don't remember them correctly when uh, speaking about them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember Fair. them correctly because I remember <laughs> I fucked the, the sentence. <laughs> but that, yeah. Cut out. <laughs> In an inopportune moment. Um, or opportunity, the way you think on how you look at it. Um, all right. It's difficult. It's ultimately your decision, Brother, whether or not you want to do this. I'm not going to order you to do it, but I will give you my approval if you think you can. I lose everyone. No. 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 Nope. So, uh, um, how feasible of an idea is this actually? <laughs> so, what ultimately is your idea? Um, I've got two ideas. I've uh got the uh just bodily go in and uh bodily might be the wrong word. It, uh, Boldly. No, as the the one sense is just actually going full in and looking for him, and the other is, uh, hi, I'm the Bajoran Torch. Come here. Uh, is that medicine difficulty too to puzzle out the feasibility? <laughs> At least it's higher than. Um, 
Got a thing. Hang on. Hanging on? By a thing. Maybe not. Maybe not. Holding on to this desk isn't doing me a whole lot, but... You're funny. I know. You never say that to me. <laughs> what do I... Can I assist? Sure. Okay. Oh, I was... Uh, yeah, and I mean, can the assist? I was just gonna say determination mission directive question mark. I wouldn't give you mission directive, no. Yeah, um, but I would allow the mission to assist. Okay, because I have chief of staff when using medicine to assist another character attempting a mes- medicine task. All characters assisting may re-roll one die. So as long as you get one, we could. Easily, maybe help out. <laughs> I see. Uh, but I will take that determination spend toward that value if you want. Uh, we'll, we'll do this differently. We'll do a, the, the spend a threat first. And... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a focus. I've got a medicine of one, but I've got a focus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. You want our help? <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah. Bank some momentum, possibly. Yeah. Um, xenobiology I... for me. Sure. I'm sorry. That that is. Somebody want to grab the meth? Sure, I'll do that. Why is it when I talk hey. poorly about my ability to do a thing, I immediately just go like, "Yeah, I'll just can't pull out a one on this." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the math. I had her feet open just a minute ago. Oh, there I did it right. Go. Okay, I was like, yes. yes. Medicine, medicine. Let me assist. Focus in neurology. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Nope. She can re-roll. Oh, right. She can. Nope. <laughs> wasn't meant to be um so the beacon one will basically put uh give you the ability to act as a uh an assist role if he's trying to get unlost uh, if he isn't trying to come back then it will do nothing but if he's trying to come back then it will give him something to it'll you'll you'll be standing in the ocean waving your arms at him and if he sees you you you'll you can just Focus his attention and go toward you. Um, and the other option was again. Sorry. Walk in there, grab him by the collar, and pull him out. You can do that. It's harder because he's psychically further from you, uh, farther from you. Um, but it's doable. You'd be the active roller, and you'd have to find him. <clears throat> uh, you'd have a standing complication. Uh, let me get you how difficult that is, because you would know the difficulty of the task you want to do. It would be that and that. Uh, diff. It's a little harder because he's further away. It's also more complicated because he's further away. So Daring Commander Medicine, difficulty three, comp two. To find him and reach out to him. Part of the ocean's enabling this. Yeah, because he's if he's if you're sensing him, he's in the ocean. It's just a matter of get, getting to him without yeah. accidentally running into something else you don't want to run into. Does, does the whole orb other me? Can I use that to help? <laughs> this two of that, me. That's why it's making this possible. Uh, this if this was just the meth, this would be immensely harder because this is a, this is a bit beyond what a mind meld would do. You're talking another level of psionics. Oh, to have um, him. actually, I have a thought. Ow, 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 ow. Um, you can, uh, this is a rare thing, you can gain a determination uh, by l- leaning on, by uh, taking as a negative. Sometimes others must stand for us, and you don't. You don't actively look for him. You just let 
your other self look for him. You just let that other self know that that's what you want, and the other will look for him. Which okay. that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing, but it just it also means you don't roll. Is the downside. So you don't know what it's how well it's going to do, or you can't really influence how well it does. But it might be able to. It might be better at it than you. But it does give you a determination in case it screws up. <laughs> kind of lives in the ocean, as far yeah. as I'm aware. Uh, we can. i Yeah, we can do that. I can beacon. We can have both. That's the. I'm just two of me. Yeah. Strange, but yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're gonna do both by taking that as a negative. Yep. Okay. Because this is me standing for me. <laughs> so you're basically going to be an assistant for the other you. <laughs> New scene. Be right back. Will you be? Will you really? Obviously, he's abandoning us. Come on. <laughs> Keep up. Uh, Myth, you're aboard the uh, plank at this point. You've had a brief interlude in your mind. All right. Um, I go to my ready room. That's where I have badge. You go to your ready room. And uh, pull that out and try and try and call up one Irene Adler. You feel a presence come forward in your mind. Oh, Miss Adler? Beth, how can I help you? Captain Krennett wanted me to contact you. He is currently... It kind of pauses for a second. Psionically existing within a portion of my consciousness. Okay. He thought you might have more ability to assist than I would. Um, I don't mean to be rude, uh, but what sort of a relationship do you have with Grin and Myth? She gets the, the very, like... <laughs> The feeling equivalent of her just tilting her head to the side and not understanding. Are you romantically involved with Grenin? Are you experimenting, dear? No. Okay. Then I'm confused why you're so intimately linked. It appears to have been an accident caused by a psionic investigation with Commander Varder. There was some event that separated him from the Commander when they were in the ocean. Okay. And now he's here. In your mind. Close. An element of my mind. What do you mean? I suppose the closest analogy would be to a humanoid subconscious, in a way. Oh, okay. A portion of my mind that is not actively engaged with my physical operations. An, a semi-accessible section that is inhabited by multiple consciousnesses. That's just confusing her more and more. Okay, so what what does he want to do? 
I presume what if he wishes my help to would do? no longer be in my mind and to return to his? Uh, she will attempt a insight science roll. Uh, she would like to spend two momentum to gain a focus. Now she is a rather adaptable individual. Yeah, uh, is it go for it? Is it worth it though? Uh, it. She only has a two. I'll admit because it's science. It's for I'm um, just messing with Grenon. Uh -huh. Um. And she... Also, do we need a HR meeting for Grenon? Do you wish her to spend... She's rolling a 12. Uh, she needs to roll succeed at a difficulty 2 task. So 12 with focus. That's a buy a die. Yeah, it's a buy a die too. She will buy one die with threat. Well, um, what he needs to do is, assuming his body hasn't been moved, um, he should focus on where he was, literally, like, uh, think of all the five senses. What was he hearing before he went under? What was he, what did he last see? What did he last smell, taste? and focus on those things over and over, and then use that as a sort of, um, how do I explain this? You imagine he's reaching out among a bunch of ropes around him, and one of those ropes is him. And if he focuses on that rope, he can very slowly, hand over hand, it'll take a bit, but he can very slowly start pulling himself back to where he actually is. See. That should make sense to him, and I will are relay you, are, you, are you where he is physically? Negative. He is currently how far away is he? How far away is Quakwa's face. Like forty light years at least. Yeah, about uh, twenty, thirty light years. He is Actually, currently thirty light years away. Never mind. Um, oh well. Just have him focus on what he uh, what he remembers. That should be the guide back. If it isn't, then he can just focus back on you and backtrack, and we can figure out what to do from there. But this should work, assuming he hasn't been in there too long. If his body's been moved around, this won't work as well. But I am assuming Starfleet doesn't move unconscious captains around for no good reason. So They would presumably take him to sickbay if he was not already there. So yeah, if he has any trouble, then he should focus on his sick bay. Because if he has, been, if he fell asleep in like in his quarters or in his office, then it's better for him to focus on where his body actually is, so he doesn't just wander off and get lost getting back. I'll just confuse him more. Confirmed. I will relay your instructions to the captain. Hopefully, this works. Disconnect. Unless she's like about to say something else. No, no. You you feel a you feel a sense of concern, but the concern is overwhelmed by her curiosity about how this process worked. Mm -hmm. Like she's gonna, so. you get the sense she's gonna be asking a lot of questions the next time she talks to him. So yeah, interface back into this particular part of my mind. Meanwhile, I mean, it's kind of valid that the questions he has. Grinning seems to be putting his presence with, to everyone he meets. <laughs> Captain Pend. Uh, You're still having a nice chat with a leader of a household who's very insistent on murdering a bunch of people in the name of the Empire. Um, so? Murder is such a strong word. Let's show how determined she is to murder a bunch of people today over a nice blood wine with a side of Targ. And maybe some uh, brand uh, Saurian brandy, because, you know, you're offering, right? Uh, that's two, that's three, 
That's four. That's five. And we'll undo the work. Because people gave me a bunch of threats, so you know who to blame. You're welcome, Panda. Yeah, I'm, I'm here trying, trying to stop party. mass executions. And I'll put the resistance buff by one. So we're trying to save a, a wandering captain. Uh, that puts the difficulty up to five, resistance to three. One captain versus how many people are about to be put up against the wall? Uh, quite a lot. Hundreds. <laughs> they're gonna be walking into a uh, into a shuttle bay, and they're just uh, they're gonna deactivate the force field. Oh wow! They're not even gonna disrupt her to them. Rude. Well, it's a lot of them. You know, it's efficient. See, yeah, I mean, <sighs> just get the guys who need bat lift training in there. See, I, I enjoyed out. See, that... that would allow that would allow the 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 other clowns to potentially get an honor roll death in combat. Yeah. She's robbing them of their place in Silvercore. Yeah. Because they're discombinated, so... <laughs> She's like, nope, you get fucked up. See, I enjoyed the idea of that previous scene of if you just would have taught the pen, you would probably would have slapped him back into consciousness. <laughs> but sure. If I, if I fill the magnitude, do I have to fill the work? Nope, magnitude's what you're really worried about. Okay. Just double checking. So, I'm going to spend my determination. On... Uh, mission directive? My mission directive is to... basically barter, negotiate with Bakara. That's but true, you're trying to keep negotiations civil. So yeah, I'll take that. I'm also go going to roll five challenge dice. Oh, okay. Threat check. Yeah! I get one. That's a good feeling. Uh, I'll keep up the poker face because it's been working so far. I've got a reroll. So that's six. I'm going to spend. Yeah, I've got to spend one for a reroll. Spending on the momentum, jeez, Pen. Yeah, it's not as a as if I've got to try and take Gorn prisoners, stop executions, and not have an incident with the Gorn over a space station. You know, little things. So that's five down to two. Might just have to give you a threat to push it up to five. Because it's at two currently. Yeah, you need to spend three threat if you want to cover the rest of the distance. Yeah, I'll spend three threat as long as she gives me the gone prisoners for paperwork. Because she doesn't want a diplomatic in incident with the Gorn that'll look bad for the Klingons. Um, and as you talk with her a bit more, she eventually reveals, well, I suppose I could delay it as much as I would enjoy doing it immediately, especially against these pirates and traitors. I have been hunting them for a while, but another day won't kill me, and I can... Figure that out. Um, 
Unless you're taking them from me. Uh, you're going to do it. No, you can keep your Klingons. I'll take the Gorn. I'll do the processing because the last thing either of us want is to antagonize the Gorn into a situation of where they're likely to retaliate. That's not going to end well for either of us. Actually, I think the Empire could do with another good war, but the High Council hasn't shown its bloodlust quite yet. We're still in the midst of clearing out the traitors of our, from our midst. So a little bit of caution can go away until that time. Hmm. All right, then I'll begin the transfer of the Gorn prisoners uh, to the plank, I assume. I, I imagine you're not putting them on the peltist. Unless you're keeping them here on the outpost. No, we'll, we'll, I'll have to transfer them to the plank. Well, the discussion As about this... As for your earlier suggestion, I would very much like to take this the outpost back with me. I might just keep the Klingons traders there. And we can still use the same protocol, we'll just wait a bit once we can get more of an audience to watch. I mean, as long as you take the station closer to Klingon borders, then what you do with it over there is entirely your business. Mm-hmm. Uh, I assume we're hanging on to the uh, raiders and the transport? Uh, to yes. To the Empire? I've allowed the... To go and mercenaries to gather some scrap and some dilithium crystals as extra. I noticed that. I, 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 they did their, They did good work. I would have. I actually offered to send them uh, some blood wine, but uh, which they almost said no to. But apparently, uh, your lieutenant Talin convinced them that the value of uh, blood wine, even if they can't drink it, apparently Chagoans can't handle liquor very well. Oh, that's that. She shrugs like that's weird, but that's not the weirdest thing she's heard in her life. But um, I think the only thing we would really want out of it is if you find any extra data that we've not found through any of the ships, maybe send it our way. Same with us. If we find anything, we'll happily send it to you. That works for me. So... Are we in agreement? You get the station back in Klingon space, you get the ships, we get the Gorn, no executions for now. Everyone's happy? Yeah, that should work for me. Besides, I think I've had a significant part of that barrel over there. I think I lost track how much I was drinking. <clears throat> So I have to wait for this uh, this to wear off. Well, Just one uh, small question out of character there. Weren't yeah. we going to see about the um the Jagoans potentially uh, seeing if the Gorn fighters were any better than theirs, so they could kind of freight up? Well, I think the uh, GM mentioned that earlier that when they was looking through everything, they just wiped the scrap. All right. Yeah, they weren't even looking at the fighters because they, they're familiar with the fi their fighter layouts. The, I will right. say the Gorn fighters weren't much better than the scale ones that they already had. Yeah, it's just like if they could like get a faster warp drive out of it or anything so they could be more mobile or better shield, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, unless you want to spend two threat for them to have that advantage. But they found something to improve the squadron. Uh, sure. So, amongst all the scrap, they found some extra parts that will help speed up their ships a bit. Which will make them uh, actually able to warp around, uh, keep pace with the uh, heavy fighter. So they can actually warp around at warp 5, which is pretty good for a fighter squadron. Yeah. That's, cool. that's, really, that's really fast. Yeah, seems worth it. But, uh... Lady Bakara, I will apologize for one thing, and this is why I'm going to hand you this lovely bottle of Zarkonian Ale. Mm, what are you apologizing for? And Pendwell comes to the engineering away team. Touch about here. Uh, 
Disable the protocols for the self-destruct. We won't be scuttling the station today. That sounds good. Um... Oops. <laughs> we'll, we'll start uh, shutting that down now. Very simple procedure. And and then suddenly it cut his side cuts out as you hear an explosion on the other end of the line. Good. I touch a bone. Telbuck begins to laugh as you're talking as you talked about the uh turning it off, like, oh yeah. Makes sense. She's not even offended, and then she can looks at you concerned when the call cuts out. Pen to plank. And scene change. Well, luckily, no momentum. As the as you quickly learned that what has happened is various explosives have gone off on the outposts that have sent the core into a critical failure. It is. We your... didn't do that. You did not do that. Somebody else did. Mm -hmm. uh, and now the station is at uh, is at risk of uh, a warp core breach. But we'll deal with that when we come back. Myth. Oh wait, is Myth back? Oh, you are. I'm back. Yeah. Talking. I was just talking. <laughs> the question yes, is, you're back within back. your uh, nexus. What, what do you mean that was Myth? That was me imitating Myth, clearly. Ah oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, it is. Stop doing that, partner. <laughs> I got. I'm such a good me. voice actor, you guys. It was. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the question is, is Grannon back? Grannon? What happened? Oh, my mic was on mute. Ha 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 Oh, fun. Love that. Uh, all right. So, yeah. Uh, myth kind of comes back to awareness and says, Captain, I was able to communicate with Miss Adler. Great. He's instructed you, and Myth will pretty much verbatim reply, uh, relay. Okay. Uh, I can try that. Good news is, uh, I was, I was already in sick bay when we tried this, uh, for this exact reason. Um, I think I can try. To work my way back to sick bay. Very well. Oh no. A presence uh, appears. What's that? They oh, that. very quickly start uh, surrounding the new entity who just moves right past them. And they reposition as they start chasing it and trying to get a look at it. I need to get out of here. Another and Grennan is going to... Grennan is going to try and work his way back out. He's going to remember who is at the Statue of Myth. Not here with Myth, but at the Statue of Myth. Oh no, you're trying to remember your body. Well, right, but one one step at a time. Oh no! Okay. Uh, daring plus command difficulty too. Why yep. are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> um, take a threat. Sure. N uh, take three. Sure. Here we go. Whew. And I generate a momentum. Poof. It vanishes from your uh, nexus. Now that why do you go and do that? Parents.
Myth, why did the captain run away? I presume he was attempting to follow the instructions of Miss Adler. Well, but I came all the way to get him. <laughs> oh, now I have to find where he went. Do you have any idea where he went, Myth? <laughs> Wait, was that Adler? No, no it is no. a other voice. Oh. Can I recognize I... the voice? Well, now that you think about it, yeah. It kind of sounds like Varder, but not quite. Yeah. Okay, I, I, thought, I thought it might be. Is that you, Commander Varder? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'm other me. I'm me. I'm the crystals? Or I'm me? I'm, <laughs> yes, I guess is the simple answer, I think. Yes, I that see. makes sense. That is an imprecise answer. However, I will ask more later. It's a very Varder oh. answer. <laughs> yeah, it is. Got the characterization down. The captain is attempting to follow the directives that I relayed to him from Irene Adler to return to his body. That is annoying. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. Wait, no, that means he's going back to his body so I can just meet him there. All right. Um, do you I'm need uncertain of as to the space time equivalency is in the area of psionic travel. However, potentially you could try to intercept him. I think I'll I'll figure it out. Um, are, are you're you're right though, right? He didn't like do anything, break anything in whatever this is looks around coordinates with coordinating with the other uh the other ais in here it's like did we sustain any damage no the, there's just now new uh, talk about what's that they have no idea what they're looking at and they're mm -hmm. very confused because they can't with um with the captain you got a sense that they could they actually did surround his psyche and he actually he couldn't move around in the Nexus without them letting him. Uh, this thing just blew right through them. They're confused. They have no idea what they're dealing with. And they're trying to figure out what it is. They seem to take comfort that you're not alarmed. That's why they're not attacking. But they are confused. Yeah. But in that same way, they're confused about anything new. So they're not really scared by new information. They're just... That's now the new topic of discussion for this eternal symposium. Yeah. So just kind of look back at the Barter crystals and say, We have not sustained damage. However, you are unique. Great. Intriguing. It's great. Uh, so I'm going to go. Um, I'll, will I. Someone. Varder will talk to you later. Will he remember this conversation? Ah, uh, probably. He I see. We spend probably the next, you know, like couple real hours talking about that. <laughs> it's just a long time in here. You're back in the ocean, new scene. Awesome. You're standing before the, you're floating, you're swimming in front of the statue. Okay. Okay. This is, a, this is a start. I remember I was here in the ocean. Now I just have to, to work back from here. Go oh, hand over hand. Hand over hand. Back. Gotta get back. To the future. Sorry. Um I was gonna say get gotta get back back to the past Samurai Jack. 
Yeah, but, but uh, my reference was better. Um, sorry, <laughs> that was mean. Um, yeah, that will be thinking back on USSR. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Control there command. are three types of people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Control command difficulty four. However, as you're focusing on getting back and so forth, um, there is a you see a person on the horizon in a boat who is waving his arms at you. What? Who is it? Hello? Far, you get a vague sense that Grenin sees you, but he probably but he's very far away. And actually, the shore you see behind him uh, actually looks like the planet's surface of uh, Kuli Prime. He seems to be swimming with three statues who are floating on top water. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, Beckoning. <laughs> Distance is great, and I don't feel like shouting. Across an entire sonic ocean, that, that just sounds... So he may assist in me trying to get out. Yep. Okay. He's giving you a direct... Because you, when you start thinking about it, the rope looks like it's going toward him. Okay, great. Uh, I am going to spend my milestone from last week where I shook off the Qua Qua Psychic. Okay, day. <laughs> okay. Uh, hang on, just noting down that I've spent. Um, You're spent. Uh, head in the stars value? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to spend it to Spirit of Discovery. Three momentum on the board. Okay. Um, and I'm immediately going to spend that three momentum board. All for two extra dice. Okay. Yeah, because this is a command roll, so my bailiwick. Oof! Come on, Varder. Thank you. Uh, Varder, give me fitness medicine difficulty four, as you feel somewhat detached from yourself as Grinning gets closer. Uh-oh. Sorry, uh, uh, fitness medicine? Yes. Fitness. A. <laughs> A. <laughs> I have augmented fitness. Do the thing! <laughs> I have a thing. Okay, um... Hmm. Stretch, stretch them brain muscle. Yes, I have augmented brain power. Uh, <laughs> focus. Again, the focus does not matter for me. Uh, <laughs> value. The odds will not beat me. I will beat them. <laughs> or I feel it in my bones. <laughs> yes. Mmm, the bone juice. Yeah, the bone juice does tend to do that. Uh, two threat as well. And we'll do it like that. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, momentum. We, we make momentum off that. <laughs> And I keep it. <laughs> what? You see yourself looking around and being rather cross and annoyed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, psychic bullshit. Yeah. As Grinning gets closer to you, he looks in your direction. And uh, exasperatedly sighs and jogs across the water over to you. Oh, wait, what? Captain decided to run away from me when I found him. At least he found you. Oh, but he did. 
What? Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to think about that one too much right now. Please don't. Oh, Myth says hi, by the way. <laughs> oh, great, great, great. <laughs> you know, at least that explains something. You know, yeah. like, why he kind of felt like a robot for a second there. Yeah. Oh, if Myth asks if you remember anything, please say no. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of questions about existentialism and AI. Unless you want to talk about that, but I somehow mm, get I'm you good. Don't. Yeah, I, uh, I I stumbled into uh, Commander Mitt's uh, great. mind. We'll talk about it later. Mindscape. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> we need to get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Star Captain Koshi. Uh, she's fine. Oh, she, right. okay. Technically. Technically. Fine. Uh, fine. She's terms. fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, that, let's get me out of here. And from the ocean, they vanish. And Grenin awakes. Yeah. New scene, by the way. Ugh, I hate psionics. But Meth raises an eyebrow. You're welcome. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, oh, wait a second. That was even more. Uh, I forgot I used the augmented fitness on that. I made three momentum off that roll. <laughs> so we've got... <laughs> Jesus. I forgot about that. I'm glad everyone is pleased with the situation. However, I must point out a rather important problem oh this little venture has taken the better part of the day we are now into we are on very little time from your last encounter with the aliens below right i just burned my entire day great uh I need to speak with Star Captain Koshi ASAP. That was going to be my recommendation, sir. Okay. Uh, All these people need to go speak with the man. Doctor, am I uh, good to go? I really don't have any time to waste. His vitals seem... Everything seem good with the captain. Reason plus medicine. Take a momentum. Difficulty of one because you're in mid bay. Down to zero because you have the ship helping you. So this is just making momentum really. Because your damn ship is good at scanning things. Modifications yeah. are always possible. Yeah. Xenobiology? True. Yeah, yeah. I bet you guys get injured like not on the ship, so FX can't use the super ship. How's that for an idea? Uh, roll, your, roll your third die. Oh, were you giving me one? Yeah, because we want you to be able to re-roll. I mean, I wasn't... And Thanks. re-roll. <laughs> wow. That's, that's exactly why I wasn't going to do it. That's three <laughs> momentum. Uh, yes, the captain seems fine, as fine as he normally is anyway. If you've been exhausted from, as if he's done a lot of cardio today. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Or two, I'd imagine. Um. <clears throat> yep. Anyway, moving on from that. Yeah. Um. In that case, Grennan's going to go up to his ready room. Oh, wait a second. Uh, you're going to talk to this? Oh, you're not going to do that in person? I mean... I, I, I need to at least reach out to them. Fair enough. may have a slightly cross 
Star Commander on your hands. Yeah, that's. I'll deal with that. That's. I'll. I'll. I'll, I'll carry the cross on this one. Well, sir. Uh, I could I can I... begin writing you a doctor's note. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, can I use a determination to create an uh, an advantage item or some such for the captain? Such as. Um, well, I have spent quite some. I did spend a bit of time with the Quaqua Marines, so I might have picked up some idea of a suitable gift amongst their people. Oh, um, you can spend a determination to create or, an advantage, ooh, if you want. or your or your intelligence advantage. I'm trying to use determination one specifically here. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. Okay. I've got two determinations at the moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, to a value. Uh, would mission directive apply in the case of diplomacy? Yeah, given that your mission is to make nice with the Qua Qua, so yeah. Yep. Uh, you recall that um, you you could replicate a nice a nicer version since you guys already have a scan of her, of what a pist- an officer's pistol is like. A good officer, a star navy officer uh, gift is a new pistol. Uh, and maybe like put their name on it or make nice engraving on it. Still has to be the same color because it's it's standard issue, but it, you can still customize and make it look a little nicer. Maybe be a little more efficient, but not be a phaser. So, so uh, you can you can trick it up a bit. Make it a laser phase nice. pistol. Essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, potato, potato, got it back again. <laughs> <laughs> Determination training so hard, I've got two. So, Varder and Gretchen, you start heading up to the bridge. Yep. Okay. Do I. The myth walks over to your office, FRX, as you're writing up your Mm. note. That was an interesting use of time. (laughs) Indeed. May have been better to just talk to her to begin with. Well, the the captain is uh, has a difficulty with uh, females in general. He has a he likes to go on a roundabout way. I've noticed. I wonder well, why that is. Wow, there's something. <laughs> <laughs> is that a common thing among humans? Oh well, yeah. Certainly- certainly a common thing among Grenin. <laughs> it's, a, it's a common thing among Grenin. <laughs> uh, I will note there was one other thing I, I saw in the uh, in his readings. I looked back on his brainwaves, considering that he was medically brain dead. Mm. Uh, I did check the sensor logs, and it would seem for a moment during that brain dead state he was in fact in possession of a positronic network in his existing uh brain matter at which point it reverted away i almost thought it was a sensor glitch of some sort but something has to explain how his body continued to function despite a lack of activity in his uh higher and lower functions of his brain Barter Simply- did mention that he felt like Yes. Exactly. I've never heard of sonic right. of sonic events causing physical matter to appear, though. Is curious. Indeed. Oh. Certainly, something we should look into. I think. Hmm. With your permission, I'll begin a uh, research uh, project on the topic try to see if there's something we can discern further from the scans certainly I'm sure Hogan. commander myth would love to be brought in on this once we get back to base i'll be sure to keep detailed notes to pass on to myth commander myth Do you want an Fun. advantage from Barter regarding important notes from his personal experience in the matter? 
I'm sure we'll interview both of you. New scene. Mm -hmm. As we cut to as Smith, you are alerted to a red alert aboard your ship. As it seems, the pirate outpost has a containment breach uh, in progress, and you're being called by Pend. I presume. I think that was the yeah. The, the, I the, the, I tried to reach the plank. Okay, tried to reach the plank. Probably reached Dorja, and then Dorja will have gotten Smith from a ready room. So yeah, I head out onto the bridge. Report. Cut the pen on the line. On screen. It seems there's been an explosion on the station which has caused the warp core to go into breach. We're not going ahead with scuttling, so we need to stop that or eject the core. Good. Do we have contact with the station? No, I lost contact with the engineering team. Do we have contact with anybody else on the station? I have no idea. Uh, your star crew can attempt to gain communication. Uh, that will be control plus engineering difficulty two, assisted by communication plus uh, uh, engineering. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I must like definitely asked that question towards Penn, but then also looked around on the rest of the bridge. I mean, probably. I before uh, session and, out of character, we we may have assigned people, but like as of like Robert the player, I have no I clue, no idea whether we've actually set someone there. Uh, no one that we've said narratively, but that leaves you kind of open to say who is there and who isn't there. Yeah. As long as they haven't been spoken for already, like Talan, Prin, and Touchman, we know where they are. Maybe Vesh. Uh, I'll buy one extra die for crew. Uh, momentum? Yeah. One momentum. Uh, so going, there we go. Uh, so rolling three with focus. And then assisted with continuity. All right, we get it back. Okay, so... Um, they are able to make contact with station operations. Or rather, not station operations, take the fact. Uh, they, they are able to get in contact with Starfleet uh, personnel that are still on the station. All right. I'll note that you guys are on a timer before I have to do a challenge die roll. I just used up one of the turns for the... I just There's just no enemy you're shooting at. It's a uh, the ticking clock of how many turns are going. So you have each used up one of the turns for the plank to try to get contact. Right. And Peltus has three left, and neither Myth nor Pend have acted. Ensign, report as to the origin of the explosions, if you can. Are you saying someone on the plank or on the outpost? The outpost. Because um, we just we just got contact. Uh, do you want one of your characters to uh, one of your support characters to be there? We can do that. We can have someone be there. Um, I don't have any characters on my ship, so well, I do, but you um, know what I mean. maybe send Vesh. Specialist sure. Vesh. So we can say specialist. Specialist, do you have any information on the source of those explosions? Uh, someone can roll, other than Pendar Myth, because I think you guys want to use your turns, uh, can roll for Vesh, because Vesh can try to figure out what exactly happened. All she knows is that there's a bunch, is there's a bunch of explosions, and now there's warning uh, alarms blaring everywhere. And now all of a sudden, Commander Myth's calling her. One of the three of you want to do that? Reason plus. Reason engineering. I, I forgot my mic was muted. Oh, no. 
Look, you're good. You're a good voice actor. You're not that good. Jeez. You have to unmute. You have to unmute first. Uh, I'm looking into it, Commander. Um, Reason Engineering. Reason is not she's good at. <laughs> um, Poor specialist. You could make a play for Insight? <laughs> if that's any better? It's not, it's not that much better. <laughs> it is better, but not by... <laughs> She could use insight, but uh, if she rolls reason, the station does assist. Okay. Because sometimes she's looking at looking up on a computer. Insight, she's just doing it off the top of her head. Um. Cat. Engineering protocols or power systems, maybe. Power systems, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then cautious. Oh, that's a band uh, talent now. <laughs> I saw it on the subreddit. Yeah. Along with xenobiology for for, med for medical officers, yeah. Yeah, totally. Uh, do you let me just? I'm looking at her talents real quick. Yeah, that's for normal day to day maintenance. Okay, that's not useful. Hey! Uh, you get a hit from the station. Nice. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty good. Oh my uh, gosh, it seems I did that it. The, oh, actually, I uh, will send it to you. So you can... a specialist it's... rocks. <laughs> yeah, she's got promoted. When the GM just goes, whoops, really loud. <laughs> Two. And Discord is being slow today. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, what's a creech? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the explosions are all centered on the EPS power junctions on the station. It's causing runaway plasma flow straight to the core. Us, we're getting a uh, warp core breach. Are we able to specialist. redirect it? Mm. Uh, for a momentum, I can answer that. Sure. Uh, and that was not quite the question I thought was going to be asked, so I'm going to look something up to give you an accurate answer. I, I kind of think I know how that how you would do that. But... Yeah, because uh, the idea behind the question is if it, everything's the plasma's going towards the core, which is going to cause it to explode. If we mm -hmm. just redirect it elsewhere, yeah. If we start, if you start having the station like vent plasma, maybe. Yeah, or you yeah. just like blow out like a deck or something like, or like part of a deck. That's still better than a warp core. Yeah. otherwise she's going to get those executions but they're not going to be the way she wants them <laughs> <laughs> and she's not going to get the station out of it and all that goddamn negotiation was for nothing <laughs> that's assuming you all survive <laughs> um okay so I know how this would work then um <sighs> Freaking alt tab computer. Thank you. Um, no. Okay, everyone dies. 
computer's giving me lip. Um, <laughs> the computer has achieved sentience. Computers. It sounds really, it Com sounds a lot like uh, Eprix, but I don't know. The computers in Star true. Trek are sassy. True. Well, it's made to wear it. What do you want? Um, uh, mm hmm. So basically, that method is an alternative way to stabilize the core. That just that would add that would change that would allow different focuses to apply to the problem because you're solving it in a different way. But it's still okay. the same issue. You're still trying to stabilize the core because you don't want to just starve it of plasma either because then you have a different problem. Yeah. Oh, and it'd be, uh, pfft, sorry, the actual thing would be, it'd be a controller daring engineering role. Okay. I assume both Myth and Pen could assist with this. Well, the, the thing is, Gerbil just did a thing to look something up. You would have to spend two momentum for a swift task and try to work on it from where she is. Mm -hmm. then she'd be up on difficulty, right? Uh, yeah. What, what, what I'm meaning is, say, the Peltus and the Plank could spend an action to get Myth and Pend over there, then spend another action for each of them to, to do something like help with a roll. You could have the Peltus and Plank spend actions to beam you guys over, yes. I don't know if you've got time to go mm -hmm. around that. Like, um, Myth herself personally going over and starting to do stuff because she knows engineering could work. Uh, I'm sorry, so I do mean, I. I just... Yeah, yeah we both know engineering. I've got a 15. But... From these. Rather yeah. than just going over to assist, actually going over to do stuff personally. And one at a time, mm -hmm. instead of both and then trying to do work. Oh. And Vesh could still try. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, my con her control is good. She also has a 15. Oh, no, I wasn't yeah, trying to stop. she have Vesh power system stuff for this? Yeah. What? Uh, you go, Captain. But just to say, I wasn't trying to stop Vesh from doing the role. It's just a case of, like, Pend and Myth would probably be more assistance on the station than elsewhere. Right. Well, I mean, I can, I can direct Gerbil to to do that with my action. Eventually, that would also work. Yeah, I think I can just do moving people around the station to probably make it easier. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, go to me, I'll direct Gerbil to uh, start venting plasma. Or venting excess plasma, I guess. To yeah. try and stabilize the core. Mm -hmm. Probably save this in chat so I don't lose it. Alright, crewman, I need you to start stabilizing the plasma flow situation there. Uh, special Gex. weapon, Commander. Yes, of course. I started she with is a specialist crewman. Specialist crewman. Yes, yes. Well, the crewman <laughs> is still accurate because anyone who's on an officer, everyone's a crewman yeah. technically. Yeah, technically. <laughs> but she just got promoted, and she's proud of it. Yeah. Vesh was Vesh was not going to be insulted. <laughs> she thinks. She thinks. Really likes Smith. Because, with the exception of gerbils, she doesn't really like people all that much. So, <laughs> that many, makes sense to her. How many gerbils has she already released into the station? They're the ones causing the explosions. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have, like, C4. They're just squirreling it away. 
Yeah, the Kamikaze. Control of the conduit uh, fry and explode. But what's the, there was like that cartoon where they, where it was like G.I. guinea pig or something. Wow. <laughs> I can't remember. It was like a, it was a movie. It came out. I remember right. seeing commercials for it. Yeah. All I can Especially. think of is like <laughs> little gerbils with little. That's fantastic. Little I, wait, I think I vaguely remember that. I, I like I never saw it, but I remember hearing. Oh, uh, I never saw it, but I remember seeing commercials for it. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. All right, specialist. I need you to start vending plasma. Deck 16 appears to be just... completely empty if you need an excess outlet in addition to the original to the installed plasma venting. And that's that's my direct. Okay. Hey, sir. Um, so it's control engineering, you said? Control or daring, yeah. Uh and then yeah, cautious, definitely. Definitely doing that. You would. I would. You're right. Um, is this still power systems? I. Uh, it was because of the way you're doing it. Yep. Okay. Um, or rather, because of how the damage was done. Better way to put it. Got it. Because of what is specifically being attacked. Hey. You also have an assist for me. Yep. Oops, I rolled as an actual plank. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for you to upload your consciousness into the plank. Make it the USS Myth. Mm -hmm. But no, I didn't get an extra. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. That's all right. So six challenge dice, please. Please. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, spend one to push it to five. Or spend one to get rid of resistance. Yeah. Spend yeah. one for so that's a more that's a more efficient use of momentum. Okay. So diff space difficulty drops to two. One magnitude and six work has been performed. Ooh. And hand directs, and then you go get it done. Get her done. So, yeah, you could just do that. Uh, yeah. In this case, I will direct the specialist. Keep up the good work. I just have Working the image of, her. like, I just have the image of, like, man, popped up on one console. I was like, do the thing, and then another console comes up, and like, specialist, report. <laughs> I'm working on it. Why are you taking orders from a different captain? You're going to get reprimanded. <laughs> <laughs> do the thing again. Hi, sir. I no rest for you. Gerbils call us this. They climbed into the plasma systems. It wasn't them. <laughs> Don't don't get the dribbles angry. He won't like them when they're angry. Um, <laughs> I don't like them when they're not angry. <laughs> e. So two momentum generated. Uh, same thing again. Yeah, yeah. Crushed, crushed it. Three, four, five. <laughs> Jesus. Six, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> Ephrix has never rolled. <laughs> Ephrix has uh, never rolled ding and that ding. well. <laughs> Two magnitude later, uh, the venting of plasma is uh, achieved, and the outpost is saved from destruction, along with the various raiders and the civil transport. All the prisoners aboard. Uh, I would like to quickly Personnel. order medical teams to port to the station. Mm hmm. Because that's still technically explosions and people could have got caught. Mm. 
Yeah, I was going to do that if you didn't. Well, that, that's what the action was going to be from. Pentas like people move out of certain areas and look for them injured. But considering we just got it done with a second direct, it's like there's no fucking need. Bakara walk, uh, Bakara walks over to you, Panda. She was busy as you were talking to your communicator. She was talking into hers, and actually, presumably, she was kind of walking with you to your to her transport room to get ready to get let you leave. Uh, and she, when you get off your call, I think I know what happened. According to my uh, security staff on the st on the outpost. It seems that the Gorn had set up some sort of slow-burning self-destruct sequence uh, if they were in the hopes of escaping us, uh, my uh, squads. But unfortunately for them, uh, they did their bombs went off far sooner than they intended. I mean, unfortunately for them, they also did it with capable people on board. Mm-hmm. They were probably hoping we'd have we would have left by now, or left a uh, small skeleton crew rather than the entire Allied fleet. Well, it seems Damn they damn fools that killed themselves. <laughs> it seems they underestimated the annoyance of bureaucracy. And then you hear a chirp from your combat pen. This is penned. Touchman here. Uh, sorry about that, Captain. Uh, we managed to get out of, find some cover in the engineering bay. Lots of uh, plasma was burning basically everywhere. I couldn't hear a thing. But uh, we're all right down here. Uh, the plasma stopped. Someone must have uh, gotten it to redirect somewhere else. Yeah, you can thank specialists Vesh for that. Um, meet up with whoever you can. Coordinate with medical teams. Just go around the station making sure we've got no casualties, please. Aye, sir. And Pend will cut the comms. And a new scene as the outpost is secure again. <laughs> Find the bridge there. So many goddamn new scenes. Yeah. So you're still down there. You two just came up. Unless you asked me to go with you, Brennan, I would stay in the. Yeah, did you bring? Did you ask for the doctor to come up with you? Uh, uh, no. No. Okay. no. Okay. I see how it is. Captain on the bridge, someone calls out. <clears throat> and Thank whoever you. Whoever was holding that seat steps up and walks out and lets you get settled. Thank you. Uh, that that will uh, continue as you were. I'm going to be in my ready room uh, for the next little bit. I'll be back. Hi, sir. Uh... Vada's favorite seat. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Varder, give me insight command difficulty of two as you get a feel of what the situation is on ship and around the ship as people start giving you status updates. Insight command difficulty two. Chain of command? Yep. And ship will assist with uh, communi uh, communications command. <clears throat> uh, oh, well, I have it. <laughs> Determination. <laughs> More can always be learned. Yeah, yeah. Just because I, I have two, so it's kind of a mice as well. Yeah, yeah. Three. Four, five. I don't keep it this time. <laughs> it lasted me for three. That's that's good. I'll shoot you the information here uh, as you as Grenin goes into his ready room. <clears throat> uh, what was the difficulty? 
Uh, 400. Two. It was two. We made three off that. Yeah, that's what I was just confirming. Fleet Captain, you are in your ready room. Very good. I'm gonna take a uh, take a seat at my terminal. I need you to patch me through to um, the uh, it's the SS Larira. It is the HMS Larira. A -A HMS Larira, right? Stand by. And Star Captain Koshi appears on your screen. Star Captain. Fleet Captain, it would seem that we have narrowly avoided a rather unpleasant medical emergency. Yes, my sincerest apologies. Uh, I had become aware of a psychic phenomenon uh, and thought to ask my ship's resident expert on psychic affairs uh, to look into it. I should have reached out to you first. That was my error. What exactly were you doing? I became aware of an empathic link that I have with you. And as mentioned, uh, one of my crew is a uh, now quite skilled psychic and... I thought he might be able to shed some light on the nature of what was, uh, and honestly still is, a rather vague psychic connection. All right, well, please don't do it again, whatever it was, since it seemed to affect me so badly. Right, um... Do you know? I... must apologize. Uh, during the event, I... saw, um, I was, uh, unwittingly, uh, witness to a memory of yours. Yes, I did have a dream that you were in, where you're at the battle against the Andromeda. Oh, you so you did have that dream that you did have that dream. Yes. Um my deepest condolences. I know you mean well, Fleet Captain, but vengeance is answered with blood, not condolences. All right. Despite my alliance with your squadron, if I find the Andromeda, I will ensure its captain pays for the death of my friend. I see. The, you know, the captain thinks for a second. Um, you... You didn't see anything of mine, did you? I had a dream of a long walk on a beach and lots of swimming. Hmm. Yes, uh I experienced the same. That's uh that's the ocean. The what? The ocean. It's uh for my basic understanding. It's a psychic force that connects living things. And it often manifests to us as uh, a literal ocean. Uh-huh. Because it's how our brains are best able to rationalize. Right. She nods but that, her head. But that's 
that's a topic for the uh, medical professionals and the researchers of psychic phenomena. Some uh, say priests. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Anyways, um, uh, I think the question I have for you is, were you aware that we share an empathic link now? I'm sorry? Empathic. Empathic. I do not know this word. Uh, okay. Um, I assume your race has a... Uh, you understand the term telepathic. Being able to freely exchange thoughts. It's like that, just with feelings. It's less, uh, it's less advanced. Okay. You're speaking like a woohoo a lot more than I would like, uh, Fleet Captain. Uh, they are a esoteric uh, species. Uh, I was kind of hope I had dearly hoped that uh, the Federation had adhered to more, uh, had accepted the bat the cosmic terror of the stars and not the flights mm. of fancy of dreamscape walking and swimming in oceans. Yes, uh, believe me, it's not my preferred. Uh... It's not my preferred area either, but well, spend enough time around Adler, and uh, you pick up a thing or two. Anyways, um, after I accepted the invitation and you sealed the deal on my hand, um, I began receiving flashes, uh, emotional feelings from what I now understand from my doctor's research to be your thoughts. I felt it again as we uh, approached the planet below. I felt your familiarity with the world. Even though I had never been there. Sir, Captain. Yes. Uh, we need you urgently on the bridge. Well, out with it. There are allies. Out with it. Uh, that's just it. We're actually speaking with their Lieutenant Commander Varder. I believe we should continue this conversation on the bridge, Fleet Captain. Understood. Be right there. Uh, and he presses a button to say, like, you know, forward this to the, uh, forward this to the bridge. Brendan steps out onto the bridge. Carter. He sits down in the chair. You see right. uh, Koshi step onto her bridge. Well, where do we stand? Uh, picking up significant fleet movement in this region of space, sir. Uh, hmm. It appears the clock while mobilizing. I don't know to what. Chatter, radio chatter would indicate, radio chatter is the wrong phrase, uh, communications <laughs> channels would indicate that some kind of crisis, uh, I don't know of exactly what nature, has occurred on the capital. What? I've gotten a summons to attend to the Prince's Court. Uh, I am to forward that same summons to you, Fleet Captain. Uh, it would seem that there is a war council on the, in the capital. I see. It looks... I... Do you have this right? And you hear someone say, yes? Fleet Cat, uh... Yes, Star Captain. Fleet Captain, it would seem that the... Chagoans are in the midst of a civil war and we have been requested by the Five System Alliance to assist. Unfortunately, this civil war seems to... Normally, we would not... There be a council meeting about it, but it has escalated to the point that it has imperiled uh, Peugeot as they are threatening to destroy the Peugeot system. 
So we are moving to uh, to send a peacekeeping uh, fleet there. I presume the prince is about to ask you for your assistance in person and give me my orders. Hmm. Which, if she's if he's giving me orders in, at court, he's going to want a strategic plan and my opinion on Starfleet's position, as well as likely assigning me my own uh, com uh, mission to sally forth with a fleet of my own. Mm. Well, I believe uh, Starfleet may be willing to uh, offer assistance in uh, uh, in a pe in a peacekeeping operations uh, in interest of uh, keeping violence to a minimum. Well, well, I think we can be on similar dance step on that front. I'll meet you on the at the uh, naval post, and we'll fly down together then. Agreed. I'll see you at dock. Uh, Varder, you should come with me. Understood, sir. We're about to... Uh, it sounds like we're about to have to start talking tactics and intelligence. I want my <laughs> top intelligence man there for it. Captain to, uh, fleet captain to Dr. Efrix? Oh, I was going to. <laughs> hmm? I'll contact him. <laughs> I got, got to uh, mute myself. Okay. Efrix mm -hmm. here. <laughs> um... I'm going to need you to report to the bridge uh, and take up the con. Varder and I are about to head down to the planet's surface. Uh, apparently, uh, apparently the diplomatic situation uh, among the five systems has taken an interesting turn. Aye, sir. I'll keep you appraised. Yeah. Civil War. Be careful, time. Captain. Accidentally start a civil war. What did you do? That will be the end of the episode. <laughs>